Hello and welcome. This song, this uh, game starts with a little jingle, so I just want to, I just want to get that. Oh, actually, there's a little intro. I thought there was a title screen. <laughs> I guess I have time to talk. Hello, everyone. Also, game's loud. Hello, Muware. Hello, Cameron. Hello, Farmsteads. Hello, Fire Mountain. And hello, Worlds of Rogue. I just said, um... I love my art gallery gay daddies. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. I'm bouncier. I don't know why. I made my avatar bigger, and I think it's, like, changed the center of some of the thing. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, we are playing Idol Hakenden. This is a Japanese adventure game from Toachiki, who um, is usually pretty bad. <laughs> They're the, the makers of uh, A Week of Garfield, that Sherlock Holmes game that's incomprehensible, that kind of stuff. Uh, but this is developed by Natsume, who makes really good games. Yeah, the, the Toa Cheeky Cheeky Boys. Uh, alright. Tomiko, head of one of the most prominent financial conglomerates in Japan, was on her deathbed. Oh, I, I thought it was about a father. I didn't realize it was a mother. She had to choose an heir from among her three daughters. I wrote, I wrote in, in bad, I wrote the wrong things in Discord. The eldest daughter, a brilliant businesswoman, who despite her young age, managed dozens of companies. Shizuka. There she is. Oh my god, I love her. The second daughter, a genius scholar with numerous patents and doctorates to her name. Reika. I also love her. <laughs> this is about becoming girl boss, I see. And then the youngest daughter who, well, who was an immature girl with no special talents at all. Edika. Ah, that's me. Ah, my dears, I am not long for this world. I want you to give it all, give it your all for the next three months and, in, and increase your reputations in your fields. The heir to my fortune will be the most talented one among you. Act dumb. <laughs> That's a talent. Oh, ho, 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 ho. In other words, this is a match between me and Reika. After all, Erika has no talent. Let me lower that a little bit more. But of course, I never considered Erika part of this challenge at all. Oh, ho, ho. the heir of the Sionji fortune will be my will be me. <laughs> Meanwhile, our Erika. Aw, look at that sad face. I'm not talented like my sisters. The only good thing I'm good at is singing. That's it, Miss Erika. You should try to move the world with your songs. You shall become a super idol. Move the world with songs? A super idol? There she is. She's got it. Avatar thing wasn't open in administration mode. Yep, this is an NES game by Toa Chiki. Now you gotta do it somewhere. Got to do where space sees you. It's good enough for uh, Twinkle Nora. It's good enough for uh, Etika. There you go. That's the jam. 
I moved my avatar a little bit. Like I said, I resized my avatar and it's done all sorts of things. It's thrown everything out of whack. And when I say resize, I mean not in OBS, I mean the actual model. Because <laughs> I was like, I opened my avatar in some other game or other program and I was like super tiny and in the floor. Actually, let's just leave it loud. So this is a Japanese-style adventure game. You could think of it as in the style of uh, Portopia or uh, the Famicom Murder Mysteries. Portopia is the father of all these, though. I really like this song. I also like the sampled, like, claps and chants. Idol Hakenden, Act 1, Birth of an Idol. Hey, Junae. <laughs> you don't know how big Robot Masters are supposed to be? I assume people size. Yeah, I was way too tiny before. Who do we have here in the vicinity? Miho is here with an old man. That's Miho. Edika's nanny. Yukichi 2 song come from? I I don't know the song. What's up, Miho? This is Master Ichido Shinji Shinjitsu, a veritable walking encyclopedia of the world of show business, and an expert on the idol scene. I wanna look at him. He bears a certain resemblance to Dracula. Nah, this game's pretty friendly in comparison to those other Japanese adventure games. <laughs> Aha, those eyes. You are a rare gem indeed. You definitely have the qualities to become an idol star. Feel free to, to like the, the Yu Yu Kichi thing. I'm, I'm not familiar with it. Looking at their Twitch profile banner, I now recognize this idol character. It's a Japanese retro streamer I follow who uses the song as a closing theme. That's sick. <laughs> there is like a... So there was like a 2014 manga? So there was like a little revival and I think they might have recorded a CD for it too. I'm not 100% sure. Or not... It's not a manga. It's a light novel. Um, but there was a small revival of this. I don't know who owns the rights to Toachiki stuff. But they, they were trying to get some of that. <laughs> You definitely have the qualities to become an idol star. I am a fortune teller. According to my predictions, this year Japan will see the birth of the greatest idol in all of history. You know there's a real recording of the song? Okay, I gotta go find it someday. And that idol shall be you. But for your true talent to bloom, you must first gather seven comrades. Seven rings in hand. Dun, 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 dun. Counting me, that makes it eight people. One of them is my only granddaughter, Hoshimi. With that, that, with that said, Shinjutsu calls a girl to his side. Oh, I love her. I love her, like, Green Ranger outfit. If I may speak freely, I shall use my foresight to find the remaining six individuals. So yeah, she is a fortune teller like her father. The rest is up to you. Adios! So I should say there are... Th this is a, a fan translation. There are two translations. There's this one, the earlier one by Lip... 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 Emco? Lip... Lip... Em, lip something. Something Lip Emco. <laughs> and then there's a second fan translation that is like, what if this game got localized in the US at the time that it would have came out, like in the US, you know, like... You know, a, a area... Uh, time appropriate localization. Psychic like cough girl. We're playing the the straightforward translation. And with that, Shinjutsu leaves with Mio. Who's still here? This is Etika's room. Anything in here? Act dumb. <laughs> Why are you acting dumb? So yeah, we have friends. So what do we do now? I believe we will find a hint in the highest part of the city. The highest building I know is the Sanshin building. 
And so the two of them headed for the Zanshine building. That's cute. Zanshine's top floor. There's a cyber gong show going. If I may speak freely, I perceive a powerful aura in here. Let's have a look. Eka tried to make her way in, but she was stopped by a guard. Please wait, mademoiselle. You cannot enter without the ticket. The show has been produced by mademoiselle Yashiko Cha Chapatake, Japan's number one producer. None may enter without a, a ticket. Okay, it's not as straightforward, but it's 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 different from the other translation. <laughs> you just look at him. He's he's the buff French cop. All right, what's up around here? There seems to be some kind of event going on. The Cyber Gong Show with lights and sound. Interesting. I want to see it. I want to see it. The guard. He refuses. Nobody's gonna be impressed by your smile here. Please don't dance for no reason. We'll dance for all reasons. <laughs> Why are you acting dumb? Please don't start singing for no good reason. Alright. What does uh, Hoshimi say? I believe, the, if I may speak freely, I believe the way to enter is to move their hearts with a song. But I tried that. <laughs> What's inside? What's inside? I really, 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 really want to see. Is your heart moved? No good, huh? If I may speak freely, I believe you still lack experience. There's nothing we can do for now. Let's return to the lobby downstairs. This is the lobby. There's a kiosk nearby. There's an ashtray here. I'm taking that. It's one of those marble ashtrays. It's way too heavy to lug around. Let's just leave it. Hey, lady. Hi, I'm Etika. What would you say is the highest place in the city, excluding the Zen Shine? This is the famous Zen Shine Breeze. It's very popular. Okay, but what would you say is the highest building? <laughs> okay, but what if I sang? <laughs> the old lady smiles back. Okay, what if I danced? Please don't dance. Alright, Hoshimi, what's up? If, I'm, if I may speak freely, I believe you won't get a straight answer until you buy something. How do we buy? It's too early to go somewhere else. Oh, candy. I'll take this! Thanks a bunch! Etika has obtained candy. Now what would you say is the highest place? This weekly newspaper just came out! Okay. I'll buy this too. Thanks a bunch. Etika has obtained the weekly newspaper. Now what would you say is the highest place in the city? I bought two things, but she still not answers. If I may speak freely, I suggest a short break to read that newspaper. <laughs> now we learn that Etika doesn't know how to read. Ah, so many letters, my eyes are spinning. You wanna read it, Hoshimi? I can't read. Etika handed the newspaper to Hoshimi. If I may speak freely, this article mentions the highest priced cafe in the city. The most expensive the most expensive shop in the city, the Bloody Fool. Who's this? Written by Kuwashi Yakeni. I believe there may be a connection. Hey Slice Six. You got to see the Dream Harrier live. It's me, it's Snake Man. <laughs> Let's go to the Bloody Fool. I guess that also counts as highest, huh? Alright, let's go there. Welcome! 
There's the owner and a single patron. Two coffees, uh, two coffees, please. Two coffees coming right up. Here you go. That was fast. Of course it was. I'm very efficient. Hi, are you Kawashi Yakani? You know about me. That's so nice. I see, you came here after reading my article. What would you say is the highest place in the city, excluding the Zen Shine? Why would you put a rope around your head? It's style. You just don't understand fashion. Well, anything would feel pretty high from Giant Baba's perspective. The wrestler, Giant Baba? Otherwise, I'd say it's the confectionery store, Tamashikaya, in Ginza 3 Chrome. The land prices there are the highest in Japan. You so bitter. I don't like coffee. Why'd you come here if you don't appreciate the refined taste of coffee? Giant Baba, the old lady kaiju? No, the wrestler. Twisted Sweat brand tradition. I mean, he, he's got a business to make. I think... <laughs> Yeah, like a hammering hair. That's how the that's a blue collar equivalent, right? <laughs> the owner is mad. Oh. Aha! Uh -huh, I guess you're a bit too young for the bitter taste of coffee. By the way, did you know Brazil is the largest coffee producer in the world? Good afternoon, Plombo. Did you know that Brazil is the largest coffee producer in the world? You always give that same trivia. Cool. There's nothing to take here. What's up, Hoshimi? It appears we have angered the owner. If I may speak freely, I suggest heading to the Tamashi... Tamashikaya. You cannot confirm nor deny that. <laughs> okay, let's go to the Tamashika. Thank you, Kawashi. Bye-bye. Oh. Oh, I know what's wrong with the walrus. <laughs> Hello, Cameron. <laughs> I can't find those videos. I'm so silly. I moved everything. Don't worry, I will fix that. Oh, I can't find the hydration sound effect either. Okay. Let me, uh, let me fix that. I got, um... I got a new hard drive and I changed all the, uh... I changed my drive letters around. I thought I fixed everything for OBS, but I forgot that Stadler and the Hydrate command doesn't exist in OBS. It's something else. All right, we got that. Save that. I will get your walrus. I just have to remember where I put your walrus. Don't have to change that, I don't think. I'll show you my best shot. There he is, he's ready. He's ready and willing. I'll just give you another hydrate. So you can hear the nice sound effect. I took it my drink, but... Okay. That's all fixed. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Edika and Hoshimi headed to Ginza. This is Thomas Chikaya. This is an impressive store, but there's hardly any customers. The champ is back, baby! Let me see those Stadlers in the chat. Hi, I'm Erika. Are there any talented girls about my age around? Hmm? Who are you? The shopkeeper looks at you carefully. I wanted to sing for him, or for her. I'll give her the big smile. The shopkeeper relaxes. Arya Yoi is only 17, but she's a stock trading genius. She's already fully paid the shop's inheritance tax. And she's only 17. Wow, I wonder if she's willing to join me. Okay. 
I have to look around. I'm back! Oh, I like her too. Etika tells Yayoi about her situation in de detail. I'll say this much. I have to keep up the good name of the Tamashiki ya. I just don't have any time to waste on your own on your thing. Okay, but have you seen the smile? Oh. Have you seen me sing? <laughs> we're gonna make we're gonna make tons of money. Wow, what a voice. I'll say this much. The world of show business is very lucrative. I wouldn't mind the challenge. Gonna pull a piece of trivia about the credits out of the nut. <laughs> a mistress of capitalism. Yeah, we need to collect the the seven rings in hand, and she's one of them. They're gonna. She, we're, that's how you become a super idol. You have to summon the great dragon Shenron. Yeah, that's right. Let's make tons of money, just like the Pet Shop Boys song. Very well. I'm going to bet on your horse. Awesome! I don't have a horse. I think I'm gonna buy some candy to celebrate. In that case, I recommend Tamashika's secret dish, the Divine Manju. It's said the taste is so strong, you'll even forget who you are. I'll take this! I think I've obtained a Manju. I'll say this much, we'll do great things together. I've been thinking about it, and I still believe we will find a hint at Zanshine. I guess we'll head to Zan Shine. We're gonna look for more people to join us. Are you coming with us, Yayoi? Very well, let's go. There's the lobby. There's a kiosk nearby. It's too early. Okay. This is the lobby. There's a kiosk nearby. There's an ashtray. On closer inspection, the ashtray is full of cigarette butts and ashes. That's weird. <laughs> This is so dirty! I just have to clean this up! I can't stand it! The producer, Kiyo, uh, Kiyohito Sada, did music and sound effects for The Adventures of Bayou Billy. I mean, this song, this game has some jams. I, so, this is Natsume. Is Natsume, like, got former, um, d -d 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 former Konami staff? Idols always have a stockbroker. Yeah, if you look at Idol Masters, there's always, like, the smart one. Handles all the financing. What's her name in Idol Master? It's, uh... Oh my god, I'm blanking. I'm blanking so much. Oh, I because sprites are so good, they are. All the sprites in this are really good. Even that lady back there in the background. <laughs> What a good girl. Let me give you a ticket to the planetarium as a reward. Oh, and careful with the ashtray. It's made of marble, so it would really hurt if it fell on your foot. Yay! Thank you, sir. Etika has received a ticket. Forgive me, but nothing specific comes to mind. I say I will say this much. We should check out the planetarium. Let's go see the stars! Etika and the friends used the ticket and entered the planetarium. The display has begun. The ceiling is bejeweled with stars. It's almost like a real night sky. Wow, it's so beautiful. You have to be quiet or you'll bother the others. But what if I sing? <laughs> Nobody's gonna be impressed. <laughs> I don't know, I just thought the stars would like it. Well, Shimi, what do you think of the stars? If I may speak freely, being surrounded by stars increases the power of my foresight. <laughs> Convenient. We must find a nut. Alright, let's go get nut. When you say nut, you mean that thing you crack open, right? I hope you mean that thing and not the other thing that the internet has ruined. Like in the Nutcracker? Indeed. A nut. <laughs> what do you think of this nut business, Yayoi? Don't ask me anything beyond making money. Okay. <laughs> this is the lobby. Hey, do you have a nut? You know where I might buy some nuts? 
Well, I sell nutshells with fortune slips inside. I'll take it. I'll take this. Thanks a bunch. I'll crack open and take out the fortune slip. That's a lot of nuts! Uh, it's too tough. I can't open it. Uh, I'll crack it open. Okay, so we need to find a way to crack it open. Is that ashtray possible? I think my, I think my Google Home just activated. Don't do that! <laughs> I'm just talking to people nearby. Okay. Do you have a nutcracker? Try going to the aquarium for a nutcracker. You're, you know, you, you know more than I do. Yeah, see, when I turn my head, I like turn way more than I used to, and I, I up the, the stiffness. I, I, I did something to my model. You guys like this? <laughs> oh, I bet. <laughs> the aquarium? I guess we'll go there. This is the aquarium. It's the water tank for the feeding show, containing a sea otter. There's nobody to talk to. Oh, sea otter is a nutcracker. <laughs> a sea otter is cracking open a seashell. Aw, it's so cute! Let's use the otter. Eureka! I'll have the otter crack that nut open. But how am I going to tell the otter to do it? By singing. Okay, I guess I'll try singing then. Oh, won't you please open this nut, Mr. Otter. I know you've got the guts, Mr. Otter. Make it break, do what it takes, smash it into powder. Cause you can do anything, surely you gotta concur. See, otter. See? That, that's beautiful. That moved me. <laughs> Step one, put otter in your inventory. The otter emerges from the water and takes the nut. But the otter was unable to crack it open. If I may speak freely, I would suggest giving it something even harder than the nut. I'll say this much. That marble ashtray is a good candidate. Alright, let's go back to get that marble ashtray. <laughs> Greatest moment of gaming, where we sang to an otter. You take the ashtray. Here, otter, take you <laughs> have this ashtray. You give the ashtray to the otter, who finally manages to crack the nut open. However, both the nut fragments and the fortune slip sink into the bottom of the water tank. Oh no! My fortune slip! Mr. Otter Song. <laughs> the otter can't help you now. Why, why not? He can swim. No one can help you now. That's called a lady from the Otter Feeding Show. Your voice won't reach there. Okay, how about my singing? Erica's song grabs the attention of the people around. But still not enough. Hey, miss. Could you please look over here? She seems to have noticed your cute two frames of dancing. Don't teach them to use tools, that's for us humans. They already use tools! They're already beyond you, Muir. <laughs> what do you need? Could you pick up my fortune slip? That's not my job. <laughs> Aw. Why are you acting dumb? Oh, she doesn't like to smile either. Okay. Yeah, yo, yo. How do we how do we deal with an employee that's won't help us? Oh, I thought it was your expertise. <laughs> Forgive me, but nothing specific comes to mind. Okay, how about if I give you candy? That's not my job. Come on, I'll give you some candy. Okay then. <laughs> the lady fetches you the fortune slip for you. Use gun. Oh, don't give Erica a gun. She can't even read. Thanks! It says you will find happiness if you become friends with a computer expert. I'm gonna up the volume just a little bit more again. 
It's like uh, the title screen music and like the little, ja the little jaunty music is way louder than this like background music. Nerds equal happiness. <laughs> I won't do anything until you feed me candy. Fair enough. If I'm going to speak freely, I believe this means we should add a hacker to our group. One of my friends is a computer whiz. Where can I meet this friend of yours? There's a computer tournament between Japan, China, and India in a store called Hard in Akihabara. She's probably there. Let's go to Hard. We just had that nut, now let's go to Hard. Okay, let's go to Akihabara. Oh, look at that guy. Dracula's back there, there's like an Onion Man, Beethoven, uh, that cyborg from Cyber 007 that is the chef. I think it's two. It's the chef two. No, two's the lady, right? Oh my god, I don't remember. I don't remember the cyborg numbers. No! <laughs> there's a lot of people with weird heads. Hey, excuse me, where is the tournament? being held. The tournament's in the basement, yeah! By the way, you're awesome, cute, yeah! Will you marry me? Yeah! <laughs> Why are you acting dumb? Oh, I'm just gonna talk to him again. You know, she'd always try to talk multiple times. It's, it's, it's good etiquette in these kind of games. <laughs> This is Hard's basement. A man and a woman are sitting in front of each other. Oh, you recognize someone among the audience. It's Kuashi uh, Yakeni, the co columnist. The columnist, not the colonist. <laughs> Forgot an N there. Or, <laughs> or M. Uh, what's up, Kuashi? Oh my, what a coincidence. By the way, did you know there are actually 13 items in a baker's dozen? What are you doing here? I heard about the computer tournament, so I came to check it out. What are they doing exactly? <laughs> no, I didn't know that. It's a bit of a game. See the rings around their wrists? Those can't be opened without the right password. They'll die if they don't solve it. Whoever manages to remove the ring from the wrist first, wins. The girl is sweating hard. I better give her support. Aw. <laughs> the lady is Misao Ayama, and the man is Master Beikochi. Beikochi has used his connections to hide the password in a data bank inaccessible to common users. Unless you do something to help her, I don't think she's going to win. I, I don't really get it, but let's see what I can do. I think a song grabs the attention of the people around. Please don't dance for no reason. I will dance whenever I want. These are my skills, I have to use them. By the way, did you know the, incredible, the underground hacking scene is into some incredibly life or death shit? Yeah, I mean, if you put a wrist on, like, it's just gonna explode, right? That's, um... Uh, what is it? The, the, the nonary games? They do that. Right? <laughs> or is it, like, a bracelet? Or a necklace? Like, a runny man? Now, Hoshimi crammed the divine manju in Master Bokochi's mouth! <laughs> of course. You can count on me. Hoshimi <laughs> crams the manju into Master Bikochi's mouth. Overwhelmed by the taste, Master Bikochi can hardly remember how to use the keyboard properly. We've caused them to become <laughs> mentally impaired slightly. Misao uses the opportunity to break through his iron guard and find the password. She did it! Are we sure it isn't drugs? <laughs> We're in hard still. Thanks, I wouldn't have made it without your help. If there's anything I can do for you, uh, do for do do ya for, just ask <laughs> away. How about you join us? I think it explains the situation in detail. 
Sounds right. Sounds right interesting to me. Count me in. I don't know what accent it's going for. I know there's a lot of, like, every character seems to have, like, a unique accent. I remember reading about, like, the, the translation. If I may speak freely, something came to my mind. I believe we will find a hint in the highest part of the city. Alright, let's go back. You love the butch, the butch country girl hacker? <laughs> yeah, let's look at her. So, what's it gonna be? The highest building has to be the Zanshine building. Still didn't get a ticket, though. There's nobody to talk to. Oh, mademoiselle, I must tell you uh, let's tell you encore that you may not enter without the ticket. Alright, what do you think of this, Masao? <laughs> I was just singing. How about you, Yayoi? Don't ask me anything <laughs> that isn't making money. She has her priorities set. What's inside? What's inside? I guess I did get better at singing. I really, really, really want to see... Sacre Bleu! I really should not let this person... What? Oh, Petit Filet. Enter. I must follow... Miss Orders. <laughs> nah, I'll sing it again. What's inside? What's inside? I really, really, really want to see... Aw. How about I give you a dance? Oh, forget me, <laughs> forget me, Zorders. You may go in, s'il vous plaît. The sing smile, it's a touch of death. Destroyed! Yay! Oh man, the Cybergong shows look sick. Are they playing, like, NES Predator? <laughs> it's a NES Predator stage show. This has got the giant bubbles. This is the Cyber Gong Show venue. There seems to be some kind of commotion. What's going on? There's a man on stage with his body wrapped in dynamite! Wow, he's gonna die. I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna die here! Yeah, I'm just gonna sing, do it! <laughs> what is dynamite? Nothing to use, except my friends. If I may speak freely, the only person who could possibly save that man now is you, Attica. You must not run away. <laughs> yeah, yoy, you're not as you're not useful, but <laughs> holy moly, what you gonna do? <laughs> the other translation boasts removal of references to suicide, but I don't know how that's even possible. I mean, if it's going after, like, a Nintendo era, like, localization, I guess they would have tried to skirt around it. How about I dance? <laughs> I gotta talk him down. Why would you want to die here? Maybe he's just gonna embarrass himself. You have to stop him from shitting himself on the stage. I've always lived in obscurity. I want to at least go out with a bang. Okay, same dialogue. I guess I'll have to sing. How could you ever say I don't want to live when there's so much good stuff you could be doing? Take a sec to have some coke, maybe grab a sundae too. Desserts are sure to give you smiles all day long. <laughs> no, I'm out of manju. I have no manju to stuff. This song really gets me, but I can't stop now. I'm finished already. Why would you want to die here?
the smile. Wow, my will to live has returned. <laughs> the man is no longer trying to kill himself. Yay! <laughs> Yay! This is the Zanshine's top floor. Yay! <laughs> so what's it gonna be? <laughs> World's wrong, no! I don't have the sweets. I, I used it all. <laughs> A stout woman steps forward. She seems to be the person in charge of the show. Wow, that was a crazy show. I must say, you have incredible talent. I'm impressed. Who might you be? I am Yachio Ch Chabatake, the producer of this show. Oh, that's perfect. You see, we're looking for people to join us. Etika explains the situation in detail. I see. Well, I simply can't ignore this kind of talent, can I? I will gladly join you as your advisor. Yay! <laughs> Meanwhile, in a certain place in the city, Kuashi Yakeni is talking to a mysterious man. Kuki King, great leader of the Kuki Company, I have assisted Etika and her comrades as you have requested. Oh no, she's evil. Good work. Keep doing so. You must keep assisting them. First, we shall nurture Etika's talent, and then we'll add her to our ranks. I must say, it is a brilliant plan. She's unwittingly dancing into the palm of my hand. How cute is that? <laughs> Etika is steadily finding her new comrades willing to walk with her. Uh, to the path of stardom. But now, a dark shadow stands in her way. Oh no. The evil haunts. Who is this kooky king? What does he really want? Before long, Etika and her friends will be involved in this evil scheme. Look, this is serious, okay? Act 1. Birth of an Idol. Finale. I want a rematch. I got suffocated by Manchu. <laughs> All right, everyone, write down the password. Yayoi, yeah, you wouldn't happen to have another one of them fancy manju. I do, actually. Here you go. Take this. Manju attack. Where am I? Who am I? Oh, no, you gave him a double dose. He's... <laughs> He's gone. He won't even know who he is anymore. Miracle voice. Act 2. Yay! We already have a nice little group. If I may speak freely, I'd know... Or, I would like to know what our next stop is going to be. I'm gonna work out a plan to put Etika on the market. I'll say this much, if Hoshimi and I work together, we can buy the right stocks to fund our project. If I may speak freely, I do believe my foresight will help us in this endeavor. What am I supposed to do, though? Aw, pouty Etika. <laughs> You should focus on improving your skill as a singer. I think you should see, go see the Queen of Enka, Karumi, Miyako, who retired from the scene five years ago, and asked to be her pupil. Problem is, no one knows where to find her now. Well, since everyone else is busy already, I guess I'm coming with you, Etika. Yay, super duper awesome, Misao! According to my sources, Karumi Miyako ought to be somewhere around... Kakanabe in the K Prefecture. Let's go check it out then. Be careful out there. Okay. You're in front of Kakanabe Station. There's a florist in front of the station. Someone is tending to the store. A senior citizen. You're a typical middle aged man. And a young man. Young man. He doesn't look too bright, I said, young man. Excuse me, is it true that the former singy, singer, Karuma? Ugh, I cannot speak today. Karumi Miyako lives nearby. Ooh. Thank you for the follow, Soul Cat. Welcome aboard, the Dream Harrier. I'm Snake Man. I'll be your captain. 
Oh, look at him. I love him. Sorry, I, I, I don't know. Hey, excuse me, is it true that the former singer Kurumi Miyako lives nearby? What, what's that? Can my room fit a yak? What kind of question is that? Excuse me, is the singer nearby? Why are you wasting your time with that? Don't you know the Great King of Terror will descend upon us in 1999? Oh no! What does he know? What is he cooking? <laughs> he did have a nice stash. Hello, little school cat. <laughs> Everyone in this game is amazing looking. Excuse me, is it true that the former singer Kurumi Miyako lives nearby? <laughs> Look at the sky! <laughs> Never mind that! Why don't you go to the festival together? They'll shoot fireworks at the river and all that! Did you hear that? Sound like somebody who don't know his place! Come on, let's go together! Come on! What a stubborn guy. Uh, this got translated a while back. I'm just only getting around to it. I, I like doing translated games. Last week we did Idblard, which got translated at the end of 2022. Well, like, August of 2022. I've done, like, a bunch of PC Engine translations. It's, it's fun. Come on, let's go! Misa, take care of him. <laughs> Aw. I'm gonna act dumb. What a stubborn guy. Your dad's a big shot in Kansai Yakuza. Right, Misa? Right. Get lost before I have to sleep with before I have you sleep with the fishes, pal. Doug Man runs away in a panic. Aye! Fireworks, huh? Sounds lovely. Let's go see them, Misao. Alright, alright. This is the river. There are some people working hard to get the fireworks ready to shoot. They look busy. What time will you shoot the fireworks? At 8 o'clock. Right then, the workers start shouting at someone. Hey you, hands off the fireworks! We're busy over here! Some people driving motorcycles have started tampering with the fireworks. It looks like a biker gang. Oh, are we gonna get a biker, like uh, a Bokasuka? Not Bokasuka. What am I, what's the word I'm thinking of? Bozozuka? Oh my god, I can't. My brain is gone today. <laughs> Shut it, you old fart. Nobody orders us around. What are you gonna do about it, huh? You little punks. Huge fight breaks out between the Breaker Gang and the workers. It's a huge brawl! This isn't the time for talking. Alright, I'll try solving another problem with a song. All of us can get along. All of us can sing a song. Come on now, everybody. No need to be fighting. Put your hands together, we can all be friends. She's lovely. After, after listening to your song, they seem more willing to stop fighting. But still, it's not enough. Let's all get along, okay? Taken aback by your smile, the biker gang leaves quietly. They're looking at you. Sorry you had to see that. I have to say, that's some voice you have. Our chief wants to thank you personally. <laughs> oh, who are they? They're cute. Thanks for the help. Etika is surprised to see that the chief of the workers is a girl about her age. Name's Murasaki Edogawa. I may be only 18, but when it comes to fireworks, I'm your girl. Best in Japan. Sorry if this comes out of nowhere, but I'm looking for Kurumi Miyako. Do you know where she might be? Hmm, I can't say I do. Why don't you try hitting the supermarket up ahead? There's a lot of people who know many rumors. Thanks a bunch, we'll go right away. Kakanabe store. You're in front of the supermarket. A woman and a girl are in front of the store. The supermarket has a single clerk. 
for a supermarket. This is a pretty small store. What a cute little girl. The lady's wearing lots of makeup. I think he'd like you to buy something. Excuse me, is that the former singer Karumi Miyako lives by? I don't know, I'm just girl. No thoughts, head empty. <laughs> Excuse me, is it true that the former singer Karumi Miyako lives nearby? How should I know? <laughs> Excuse me, is it true that the former singer Karumi Miyako lives nearby? I have no idea. Now why don't you buy this uh, tamari? It's very popular here. Aw, I like it. I'll take it. Hedika has obtained a tamari. What are you thinking, Misao? Alright, now that I've taken that, do you know anything more? No, I already have the tamari. What if I smile? Yes, yes, you're very friendly. Don't make me frown at you. <laughs> well, look at you, dancing all of a sudden like that. Aren't you great? Go back to the station. The girl is still probably clueless. Lady still doesn't give a shit. Take, use... That would make you a thief, you know that? I guess we're off, back to the station. I think a singing voice echoes around her. The people around her are amazed. Oh, no, didn't I try singing? I guess I didn't. No, that's the don't make me frown at you. Okay. Let's go back to the river. Cheer up, okay? Good luck. You better hurry before it gets dark. Hmm. You start dancing those nearby into it as well. Why are you doing that? It's kind of creepy. <laughs> I like the different narration. Why are you playing dumb? Alright, let's go back to the supermarket. Hmm. Would you stop acting dumb? Should I know? Misao's not helping either. The Tamari doesn't seem useful. Oh, the florist. Let's talk to the florist again. I have no idea. Now then, I've just received a batch of um, amaryllis. Would you like some? Oh, I like it. I'll take it. After buying the flower, Etika leaves the store. That's when she notices. Oh dear, it's Kuwashi Yakeni. Oh, it's you. I love, I like Kuwashi in the background images. It looks like she has like Mickey Mouse ears. Oh my, what a coincidence. By the way, did you know there are actually 13 items in the baker's dozen? I came here because I heard the fireworks are the best in Japan. By the way, did you know Australia is both a continent and a country? Sorry if this comes out of nowhere, but I'm looking for Karumi Miyako. Do you know where she might be? You should ask the old man who lives at the foot of Mount Kakanabe. He knows everything about this area. Thanks a bunch! We'll go right away. <laughs> That's a good picture. It's a good goat. This place looks kind of lonely. Its face is kind of seedy. Don't say that about the goat, he's trying his best. Flowers have been placed in front of the statue. He's old. Very old. Nothing special about the thicket. 
<laughs> we can always trust Kuwachi. Bleh. Excuse me, is it true that the former singer, Kurumi Miyako, lives nearby? Oh, is that young lady? It seems he can't hear very well. How about a song? Nope, Annika's singing voice echoes around her. You want a tamari? No, still can't hear. How about Misao? My talent with computers ain't gonna be much good around here. How about goat? Goat, blah. Take goat. You'd be mistaken for a, de a thief. But I want the goat. You'll be cursed if you do that. You can't bring that with you. You can't use the flowers. Oh, how about a big, big smile? <laughs> Erica de decides to convey her question to the old man by dancing. I love just when it flashes the two frames back and forth really rapidly. Excuse me, is it true that the former singer, Kurumi Miyako, lives nearby? Annika's interpretive dance is spot on, and the old man understands her question. It's, a, it's beyond language, you know? Everyone can understand dance. It's universal. <laughs> he points towards the summit of Mount Kakanabe. So she's up there, huh? Let's go, Misao. A desolate mountain path. Sorry, I was getting into this. <laughs> There's nothing to take. There's nothing to talk to. What are we doing, Misao? You are unable to progress for some reason. What are you trying to accomplish? I'm gonna smile at this mountain. It's important to dance your troubles away. You miss a beat. Oh no. There's nothing to pick up. Miss out, help me. Hmm. Let's go check the village. The old man can't hear you. For some reason, I can't move forward. Do you know why? Etika uses interpretive dance to talk with the old man. Hmm, it's already six o'clock. Time really flies fast. Oh boy, this one's gone senile. Yep, same response. So where are we going? I don't know. Goat doesn't want to talk to us. Give me goat. <laughs> Maybe I need to pray to the altar. Oh, okay. So these are our only two options right now. What a cute smile. And then dancing and work. Um, let's see. You'll be cursed. Do it. <laughs> Nothing special about the thicket. Oh, the flowers in the front of the statue have disappeared. Maybe the goat ate them. Goat? His face is kind of seedy. Did you eat them? Six o'clock. What can we do? We can't go back. Mis Misa has no help. I wanted to ask about the flowers, but he's already gone. I put new flowers. Looks so lonely without flowers. Here. 
Annika puts flowers in the pots. As she does so, she notices a poster. Let's see. Warning, the area ahead is haunted by a Nurkabi ghost. Eek! So, so that was a ghost? What's the point of going there? Bah, ain't no way that that's true. That only happens in comic books or video games. Can I ask about the ghost? How do I deal with a Norikabi? Etika uses interpretive dance to talk with the old man. Uh, that's already six. Okay, maybe, uh... Maybe our friend... Murasaki knows. How do you deal with a Norikabi? Hmm, can't say I do. Why don't you try hitting the supermarket up ahead? There's lots of people who know many rumors. That's what you said last time. Alright. How do you deal with a Nurikabe? I'm trying to remember which one the Nurikabe is, um, in terms of yokai. Are you sure you're alright? It's true, it's true. How about little girl, do you know? Will you play with me? My name is Mika. Yeah, yeah, let's sing. Let's dance. You want to play with this, Mika? I think I hands Tamari, uh, the Tamari to Mika. Will you play with me? My name is Mika. Yeah, I, I can give it to you. I'm a lady. How do you deal with a Nurikabe? How should I know? He's not friendly at all. I wonder if they sell takoyaki. You sell takoyaki? My girlfriend says, do you sell takoyaki? <laughs> what kind of business is this? For a supermarket, this is pretty small. What a cute little girl. Hello, Mika. I'm taking Mika with me. She's mine now. I gave her my, my thing and everything. Misa wasn't useful. I think I did all my actions. Lady's still useless. Talk to everyone. Take doesn't do anything. Use I've already used. Oh, let's sing a song while we play. Ten, 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 Marie. Ten, ten, Marie. Up and down and on, down you go. Tar, tar, tar. That sure is a song. I like it. I want to sing too. Way away, out of my way. Wicked mischief maker, get out of my way. Sweep off your feet and you'll let me through. Sweep you with a broom and I'll go on through. Oh, I'm good at sweeping uh, with brooms. I, last week I, I killed a lot of cute elephants. Let's play some more. Play again later, okay? So I think I have my, 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 my chant to... to dispel the beast. You think Mika's song's a clue to deal with that Nurikabi thing? Now you mention it. Yes. We just need a broom, and we'll dust off its feet. Ah. I need a broom. Sorry, I'm all out. Man. <laughs> Can you lend me a broom, lady? How should I know? Mika, do you have a broom? No, Mika just wants to play. Check with the river. Tear up, okay? Good luck. I'd love to hear you sing again. Best in Japan. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the station. Uh, Florence might have one. Can you lend me a broom? 
I only have this one. I can't give it to you. Can you lend me a broom? It's been a long time since I've seen a loom. Can you lend me a broom? Why are you wasting your time with that? Don't you know the great king of terror will descend upon us in 1999? He, he knows. What does he know? He knows the events of Chrono Trigger. He knows about Lavos. Can you lend me a broom? F forget about that. Well, why don't you? Why don't we go have some fun? He seems to be scared of me, Sal. Don't push your luck, pal. Um, I'm gonna do it and smile. Maybe song? No, a dance? Oh no. Maybe the old man's got one. Attica uses imperspective dance to talk to the old man. No, he's useless. You put your hand in the ticket and find a broom. Man, Japanese adventure game. <laughs> we all remember that. It was fantastic. We used the power of the Backstreet Boys to... <laughs> to defeat them. This is an important moment. You can't just leave. Oh, okay. I'm not carrying anything. Oh, I need to take broom. The old man will scold you. Why? No, he won't scold me. He doesn't even know what's happening. <laughs> Will the mountain disappear if I dust it all off? Now take it. <laughs> Etika picks up the broom. The old man notices this fact. You're going to drive the Nurikabi away, aren't you? Go ahead, take it. Your dance was quite funny. It seems, it seems the old man was just teasing Etika by pretending to be deaf. <laughs> Seriously? And so Etika and Misao headed for Mount Kakanabe. Oh, it's the wall! That's right, that's what a Nurikabe is. It's our friend, the wall, with the little loincloth and uh, some interpretations. That's the wall up there, brother! Hey, wall! Take this broom! Etika used the broom to dust off the feet of the Nurikabe. You can progress now. That must have done the trick. You move further along the path until you see a house. Guess Karami Miyako lives there. There's a house by the side of the lake. A pure clean lake. Oh my god, this face. Who might you be? A woman stands before you. <laughs> Sorry. I wasn't prepared for that one. Are you Kuromi uh, Miyako? Uh, yes, why do you ask? I want to be your pupil. Sorry, I don't take pupils. Okay, but listen to this. I think a singing voice echoes around her. To me, my life is singing. Without it, the world has no meaning. So please, make me your pupil, if you may. La 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 la, my way. And that's why I'm here. I see you do have some talent. Very well. If you can manage to turn that lake into a flower bed, I'll take you as my pupil. Wow, lady, you got... That was a big, big ask. Can I just turn it into wine or, you know, something normal? Misa, what do you make of this? Turn the lake into a flower bed? That's just crazy talk. Pure clean lake. I can't sweep it away. What if I dance? What if I sing? What if I smile? <laughs> what if I act dumb? Alright, so we might need some friends. Inside house, village. Nope. 
<laughs> so Joan Rivers. She's got some. She's done some work. How about you, Murasaki? Do you know? Do you know how I'm gonna be able to turn a lake into a flower bed? Well, Hanabi, right? Is this a, is this a play on Hanabi? Hmm, not really. Sorry. Here, maybe these will cheer you up. Murasaki gives Etika some small fireworks. Thanks a lot. Etika has obtained fireworks. I gotta go back. I don't know how to do this. Maybe lighting this little firework will cheer me up. Etika lights a firework. It's a lovely sight. Wow, how nice! The fireworks reflection on the water almost looked like tiny flowers. Here, I have a snake. That's it! I want to talk to Misa. I forgot I gotta do it through this menu. If a small man, uh, firework managed that, a bigger firework's gonna turn the lake into one big flower bed, don't you think? Misa, you're a genius. Let's go back to Murasaki and ask her. To shoot the biggest firework you have. Etika explains the situation in detail. Sure, I can do that. So where are we gonna shoot it from? Uh, I'm not sure. According to my calculations, the perfect... <laughs> I almost went to a YouTube poop Robotnik song. <laughs> According to my calculations, the perfect firing spot should be halfway across Mount K Kakanabe. That's gonna be tricky. Cars can't go through that path, and the equipment's pretty heavy. Whoa, who's she? Let me handle it. It's one of the girls from that biker gang. You're part of that biker gang from earlier, aren't you? Yep, I'm their leader, Midori. Your song really got to me, so I figured I had to apologize. I see. I can move those fireworks. A car can't get up there, but a motocross bike? No problem. Thanks a lot! Best in Japan. Etika leaves the firework preparations and returns to Kurumi's place on Mount Takanabe. Whee! Boom! Kaboom! Yeah, I want a biker girl. Get you a biker girl. As the fireworks shoot up into the air, the lake reflects their light, turning into a giant flower bed. It's a success! I admit my defeat. That was very clever. As promised, I'll take you in as my pupil. And so Etika began to study under Kurumi Miy Miyako, the Queen of Enka. So many cool girls in this. Yeah, so one thing I want to do, um, because I'm thinking of another thing with cool girls, is, um, the Saturn game that is also, like, it's more of a visual novel. It's not an adventure game. It's just, like, a, a choose your own adventure almost. Um... You, uh, what is it? Yumi Mix? Yumemi Mix? I want to do that with the crew. <laughs> After many days of harsh training, oh, we got our training arc. Erika finally learned everything that Karumi Miyako could teach her. Don't make me frown at you. Well done, Erika. Erika, I have nothing more to teach you. Your song will be able to move the hearts of people from all over the world. Indeed, you have acquired the Miracle Voice. Al Alex Kidd in the Miracle World. In the Miracle Voice. <laughs> she's she's gone hard. Etika's singing talent has multiplied... What? Multiplied manifold in these last few days. Let me give you a warning. There is a monster lurking behind the world of show business. The Kooky King, leader of the Kooky Company. He played a lot of Mortal Kombat. A, a monster? Poof. <laughs> Poof. Poof. I love that sprite. Yes, that monster's goal is to transform every entertainer into one of his cookies and control them from the shadows. Do not fall for his lies. You should have nothing to do with him. He is the dark side of the entertainment world. I understand, Master. I'll be careful. After her training, Etika has also matured as a person. Murasaki, Midori, if it weren't for you, I wouldn't have been able to gain the Miracle Voice. Thank you. 
If you don't mind me asking, would you like to join our team? Would I? Leave all of your gunpowder needs to me. I will shoot everyone with a firecracker. And I'm in two, because I'm going to beat the shit out of anyone that gets in your way. I can handle any bike, and I'm a great in a fight. I love her. I like her poofy 80s hair. And she, she gives off a Sailor Mars vibe to me. <laughs> is a very good girl. Just so you know, I'm a black belt in karate. After finding two new comrades, Erika returned to Tokyo, where Yachio and the others... Oh, I didn't get to finish reading that. Miracle voice! <laughs> I just love the smell of gunpowder. That was a lot of work. Time for a cigarette break. Ah, me dory don't like that! Kaboom! Oh, <laughs> that's a good sprite. Oh, oh, oh. Idol Act 3. You are the derpy girl. <laughs> you. It, yes, you. <laughs> the news that Etika has been gifted the miracle voice from Kurumi Mi uh, Miyako spread in an instant. Etika had become the woman of the day. Just a day. Main character at Twitter. Etika, I know the perfect song for your debut. It's the greatest song in the history. You are the derpy girl. <laughs> if I may speak freely, that song is a legend. No one knows where it can be found. Rumor is that it was hidden somewhere by the president, uh, Polynabe Pro. You should look into it, Etika. Okay, I'll try my best. Murasaki, Midori, let's go. <laughs> you don't like the, the, the song of the derpy girl? Sure thing. All right. God, I got my, my cool bit, like... <laughs> my ladies on each side of me. We're gonna go kick some ass. We're gonna burst down doors. It's so internet in a certain era, yeah. Uh, when was, when was this translation done? It might have been, like... What, like, Milo Pony kind of brought the derpy word back? I don't know. <laughs> Take my business card. This should give you free access to most places in the industry. Yachio gives Erika her business card. <laughs> this is Polynabe Pro. I, I like this this picture. I like everyone staring at us. There's a secretary and some questionable looking men. Fan translates tier list with <laughs> translates with tier list with B movie script Derpy Girl. <laughs> it's important. She's pretty. They're pretty questionable. May I speak to the president? I'm sorry, but he won't see you without an appointment. May I speak to the president? They, they're no use. Midori kicks some ass. What's the holdup? Take us to the man. <laughs> Fireworks won't be much use here. I don't know. Give her a smile. Alright, give her a song. Please don't start singing for no reason. People will think you're a weirdo. Stop dancing like that. You'll get tired. Why are you acting dumb? Anything I can take? Anything I can use? Oh, business card. Etika shows the business card to the secretary. May I speak to the president? Oh, you're acquainted with Miss Chabatake. The president's office is that way. You may go in. Entertainment for life! The decorations are all in bad taste. He sure fits the room. Just a normal hanging scroll. I would like you to give me the You Are the Derpy Girl. As soon as he hears Etika's words, the color instantly drains from the president's face. There's... oh my god, the lips on him. There's no... there's no such thing. Now, how about you make your debut with my studio? He's clearly playing dumb, but I can act dumber. Aw. <laughs> Etika displays her miracle voice. Magnificent! Do you want to make your debut with us? I would like you to give me the You Are the Derpy Girl. There's no such thing. 
Alright, Midori, do your business. Fork it over! When it comes to gunpowder, I'm the best in Japan. That's <laughs> great, Erika. Or, Murasaki. Erika starts dancing with grace and elegance. Magnificent! Do you want to make your debut? Spawning for no reason is not a very effective strategy. I... I beg to differ. I wish I could act dumb better. I'm taking your scroll. <laughs> There's a safe behind the handheed scroll. It looks very sturdy. Alright, blow it up. That dinky little thing? I'll have it open in a sec. Rosaki quickly grabs some gunpowder. <laughs> Boom, she just blasted the safe open. Yeet. There's a notebook inside. Etika picks it up. Please, anything but that. I'm also taking the safe. That's impossible. <laughs> What's he gonna do? He can't stop us. We have the miracle voice. We have Midori. <laughs> Nothing can stop us now. Etika starts reading the notebook out loud. I couldn't see you today, so I was very sad. I hope I can talk to you tomorrow. April 1st, Polynabio. I was also saddy waddy, but I was happy waddy that you gave me your diary. Diary. Luppy luppy. April 1st, or April 2nd, Mary Pie. Oh, actually, I, did, did Luppy get added to the Franker Phase Z? I submitted it, I didn't check if it uh, got accepted. <laughs> It appears this notebook is actually a diary exchanged. Luppy luppy. Between the president and an idol. Oh, it looks so small and shitty on the... <laughs> That's great. Please give it back. If that stuff became public, my reputation would be dosed. Then give me You Are the Derpy Girl. Okay, you win. The president takes out a music sheet from a drawer. This is only the tune. The lyrics are still in the hands of the writer. That's all I know. Thanks. Here's your notebook back. I love extortion. And so Etika achieved her objective and made her way back to Yachio and her friends. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> I wasn't ready for what just happened on the screen. Meanwhile, at the hideout of the Kuki King, Etika's sisters are here. Oh, sorry. Etika's sisters are here, talking to the king. We want you to use any means necessary to crush Etika. I assume your goal is to have my cookies cause her downfall in order to remove her from your inheritance competition. You assume correctly. Seriously, I can't believe that Good For Nothing would become so successful. She hasn't even released a song yet! <laughs> Shizuka crumples a newspaper with an article about Etika printed on the first page. You said it. I could hardly accept losing to you, but the thought of being beaten by Etika, it drives me crazy. <laughs> Leave it to me. I have had my eyes on her for a while. She'd make a fine addition to my army. Now then, let's get back to work. I can't believe sisters are evil. I can't believe it. We're back. Welcome back, Etika. You did great. Thanks to Hoshimi's foresight, we have a general idea of the location of the lyrics. If I may speak freely, I believe the writer is at the FTV offices. FTV? The TV station? The very same? Head there with Hoshimi. I know you can do it. I feel like we had Midori, but she didn't get to do anything. I'm sad. Okay, let's go to FTV, Hoshimi. You did a great job as Erika's bodyguards, Murasaki and Midori. I'm going to need your help getting the Etika project ready. Gotcha. Sure thing. Yayoi and Misawa are gathering funds. Keep up the good work, Etika. Everyone is here. There's nobody sp specific to talk to, though. I'm counting on you two. Or, counting on you. The project will be ready in no time. I know you can do it. I- no, I- I keep messing that menu up. 
Alright, Hoshimi, where are we going? If I may speak freely, at this moment my perception is perfectly clear. We will definitely find our target. Oh, right, we're on FTV. Okay, I'm leaving. See you later. This is the lobby of the entertainment channel FTV. Oh, no, that guard is still here. Or, it's, it's the guard. It's that old guard. He's back again. He looks scary. The guy that tour is that way. Oh, okay. He doesn't have an accent, so he must be a different guard. Please don't start singing with no reason. People think you're a, weird, a weirdo. Uh, oh yeah, let's talk to Hoshimi. If I may speak freely, I hear a voice calling me from the basement. The guard prevents you from going any further. You can't go there without authorization. I got it towards that way. Oh, but the singing of a smile. Yes, yes, you're very friendly. A complete failure at my dancing, what? How dare you? I'm a new singer, I'm here to record a song. Is that true? Show me some proof. Desserts are sure to give you smiles all day long. Etika displays her miracle voice. Oh, what a lovely voice. You clearly are a singer. Go right ahead. Thank you. As soon as Etika and Hoshimi enter FTV's basement. Excuse me, are you Etika Say Sayanji? A girl calls out to Erika. I've read, I read about you in the newspaper. You're making your debut, right? May I have your autograph? Etika gives her an autograph, as requested. Thanks, my name's Momu Mo Momomi. I've been into the world of entertainment ever since Genji Hotaru. I'll be cheering you on, Etika. Da. <laughs> I always wear my da uh, sweater. Yeah, it's our first fan. And we're really becoming a super idol, you guys. This is the underground lobby. I like to call it the underground lobby. <laughs> hey, is that Nishi? Excuse me, can I get your autograph? Well, maybe he leaves in a hurry. She's just out of here. She found someone else. Uh, fans are always fleeting. If I may speak freely, I can feel something powerful calling for me. Oshimi starts walking unsteadily. Before Erika can even add a word. Oh my, what a coincidence. By the way, did you know? There are actually 13 items in a baker's dozen. It's Kawashi Yakeni. You see, there is someone I would like you to meet. By the way, did you know? The first five digits of Pi are 31415. Kawashi guides Erika and Hoshimi inside the studio. My king, I have brought Erika to you, as you asked. By the way, did you know a group of boars is called a sounder? Yay! I am the Kooky King. Without any warning, you find yourself in front of the Kooky King. No. This gloomy room fills you with dread. What a strange hairdo Kawashi has. He's the kookiest creature of all. Kawashi, how could you? This is the Kooky King. By the way, did you know? Lemurs are native to Madagascar. I did know that because of Madagascar in the movie. <laughs> they did the, 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 who let the dogs out. Oh no, they, they, they like to move it, move it, sorry. That's what they like to do. <laughs> Would you like to join my army, Etika? No, I want to move the hearts of people from all over the world with my songs. <laughs> but cookie King comedy is the trendiest thing ever. If you join me, you'll become a great star. Hoshimi, what should we do? Oh, Hoshimi's at a loss. I'm gonna act dumb. No. I can't use my business card. I can't leave. This is a crucial moment. Singing is passion. Singing is life. 
And it could display a certain miracle voice. Impressive. You've managed to reach my heart. But it won't be beaten. Watch this. Oh no, the Kooky King pose. I'm like, I'm just looking. I'm just taking him all in. So he's got a cape. He's got that like old style hairdo. Like per that you see in like period pieces. He's got uh, a horse, like a horse thong. I guess it's like a flotation device or something. And then he's got like flippers or like uh, fishman fins. He's all over the place. Oh, I didn't read that, did I? Oh well. It was on screen long enough. Oh, it's so silly. It's so kooky. That Erica's strength is drained from her body. As always, a perfect kooky act. By the way, did you know Don Quixote was written by Miguel de Cervantes? I know, I, I, I'm trying to take it all in. What can we do? Atticus starts dancing with grace and elegance, but it had no effect. It's probably for no reason. It's not effective. This is so silly that you can't even speak. Let's call it a draw for now. The lyrics you're looking for are kept in Studio 4, somewhere in the basement area. Find them. However, you'll have to go through the other three studios to reach Studio 4. Each studio is guarded by one from our company. Will you be able to make it past them? By the way, did you know, bamboo is the world's fastest growing plant. I did know that. Oh, okay, he's just... Yep, yep. Alright. What, what do you think of all this, Hoshimi? <laughs> Hoshimi can't handle this. Hoshimi is just checked out. Okay. Oh, wow, that was a lot. <laughs> Hoshimi, help. No, nope, she's, she's done. I guess we'll go to Studio One. Edgar and Hoshimi visit Studio One. It's full of people doing exercise. It's like some kind of fitness gym. It feels like you've seen that face before. Hmm. We've been waiting for you, Edika. <laughs> Who are you? Time ago, we were all hailed as idol stars. But we've long since fallen from popularity. Nowadays, we only appear on celebrity sports shows. <gasps> the horror. That's why we train so hard. That's the only way to get noticed. We can only celebrity sports stars and variety shows. The word they're translating as dirt is hoe. Like Sakura Kinomoto is always saying in Card Captor Sakura. Yeah, I, I guess it's one of those things that'd be hard to kind of translate. Thank you for the hydrate, Cameron. Ah, I drink a lot that time. However, our troubles will be over soon once we defeat you. We'll be allowed to join the Kooky Company. Stop acting so cute and innocent. I hate it. Etika starts dancing with grace and elegance. Hm. We've been training hard every single day. Your goofy little dance is nothing to us. The former idols challenge Etika with their own dance. We'll never lose a dance off. Music start. One, two, one, two, three, four. Dirt. <laughs> this is too fast. Hoshimi, what do I do? If I may speak freely, I cannot use my skill to its full potential unless I'm surrounded by stars. Forgive me. I'm not losing without a fight. <laughs> Etika starts dancing with everything she has. But I can't go on. I'm out of breath. I have no stamina. She falls to the floor, panting. 
Meanwhile, the former idols are not even breaking a sweat. This is our secret. The former idols take out portable oxygen cylinders. They take a deep breath and blow out their lungs. Restore their endurance. Oh, you have lost, Etika. Etika is too tired to stand on her feet. Hoshimi, please hold on to my shoulder. With Hoshimi's assistance, Etika retreats to the underground. Uh, I mean, I've seen portable oxygen cans, and I mean, they... If you're, like, don't have, like, a lack of oxygen in your body, you know, they help. Like, I've seen, like, wrestlers use it after, like, a match or something. I don't know about dancing. <laughs> With Hoshimi's assistance, Etika retreats to the underground lobby. Momomi, we got our ass kicked. Whoa, you look B. Oh, uh, I've seen singers use it as well. Like, between songs. Whoa, you look B. What happened? Etika explains her situation in detail. Wow, that sounds like a lot of fun. Can I join you? Sure, I don't mind. If I may speak freely, that would make her the fated 8th member of our group. Are you sure about this? Gathering eight people was the whole point, wasn't it? The faster the better, I say. Oh, now she's in our friends group. Have you ever met Genji Hotaru? No. no. Can you Can you introduce us? Hmm. Anything in here? No? I guess we have a friend now. Nika, friends. Let's give them another shot. Haven't you learned your lesson yet? Hey, I know you. You're the singer Sakiko Tenma. We have an idol nerd. And <laughs> she's gonna needle them. <laughs> That's what will defeat her. Momomi, an entertainment nerd, has an encyclopedic knowledge of the entertainment world. You... you know who I am. Of course I do. And that's Tope Shibuya. And there's Masao Oribe. And over there, Momimi lists the names of every former idol. I'm taking their cylinders. You can't do it while they're watching. Okay, keep distracting them. Anyone else in here? It feels like you've seen that face before. Hoshimi doesn't have anything. Well, Mimi is still doing it. You you know who I am? I can't take that. Wow, you're all celebrities. This is so cool. Total respect. Oh, I, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> the former idols are full of themselves now. Use this opportunity well, Erdika. <laughs> Act them. You steal the oxygen cylinders. Darn it. We were careless. It's time to dance. Erdika starts dancing with grace and elegance. Now let's see if you can keep up with me. Music start. I wish I was fully, like, tracked so I could do the dance with everyone. So be it. I'll take you on. The former idols answer Etika's challenge. The dance-off is intense. One after the next, the former idols give up. I wonder what the original Japanese for act dumb is. Probably just act dumb. <laughs> Finally, Sakiko herself also falls to the floor. I admit my defeat. You may actually become a true idol. Go ahead. You're all pretty cool. I mean it. Let's keep doing our best, okay? Thanks, Momomi. Have you ever met Kajara Genji <laughs> and Tara? M Momomi. Whatever. She's got one track mine. <laughs> A baseball player stands in your way. <laughs> he looks very clumsy. Oh, that's rude to say. I'm G I'm Gagawa of the Tawe, but Betokos. Betokos. I'm no longer good at baseball, so I owe you a lot to the king. 
How do we defeat him? Not by acting dumb. Not by smiling. There? Oh, Dance is being treated as acting dumb here. Interesting. Please don't start singing. Are you going to try wrestling? Yes. Alright. Momo, <laughs> Momo Me doesn't know baseball players, just idols. If I may speak freely, I do not enjoy staring at overweight people. Whoa! Whoa, Hoshimi! Jesus. <laughs> I like Toshimi. <laughs> then she's fat shamed. Yeah, this game is really cool about female body diversity, but it's mean about male bodies in equal measure. Aww. Toshimi will learn. It's it's early for her. She has time to mature. I can fix her. <laughs> it's so weird. Oh yeah, what are we doing here? I'm Gagawa. I'm no good at baseball. You shouldn't use the oxygen cylinder. Okay. I'm not letting you through. I want to become a famous baseball singer. Incredibly, Gagawa takes out a microphone and starts singing. This is the love story of a carp from Ginza. That was great. He's bad. Really bad. I don't know. I thought he was alright. That's terrible. Let me show you how it's done. <laughs> I just love I love the little puffs. I kinda want this as an emote. Annika displays her miracle voice. I lost. I'll try again after some practice. And just like that, Kagawa leaves. He left behind his baseball bat. I'll take that to beat the hell out of the next person. This could prove useful along the way. Oshimi. Please overcome your... Impressive work, Etika. Please overcome your fat shaming in the future. Etika, Hoshimi, and Momimi enter Studio 3. Five sumo wrestlers stand before you. We are the Yuroshio and the Sekitori brothers. Nobody hires us anymore, but the king takes good care of us. I'm just trying to... That's what they would sound like if it was done in an anime. <laughs> that's just what sumo sound like in anime. They sure are big. There are five wrestlers. Hoshimi, what do you think of this? If I may speak freely, I do not enjoy staring at overweight people. Come, get over yourself, Hoshimi. How about you, Momomi? No, no, you're still useful. I'll give you the same lesson I gave Gagawa a few moments ago. <laughs> Did you know? Did you know? My boyfriend is a sumo champ. Your Shio's group answer your challenge with their own song. While we're on the ring, we give it our all. Then we all eat some good chanko kanabe. Ah, uh, doskoi, doskoi. Dang it, they're good. Yeah, they should be a band. I want to see them. But can they dance? A complete failure. How about if we act dumb? No. I'll have to keep singing as long as I can. Ha! You'll never beat our sumo wrestlers in endurance. An incredibly intense singing competition has begun. It's... it's getting hard to breathe. The room was already cramped to begin with. With five sumo wrestlers, there's simply not enough oxygen for you to breathe properly. I can't breathe. Use baseball bat. Etika and her friends use the oxygen cylinders to get some fresh air. Oof. We can't breathe. The brothers have passed out due to a lack of oxygen. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's going way too fast. I can try again. No, no, it's a different message. <laughs> Anything in the room? I'll take a sumo wrestler. Yep, you can always clip. Impressive work. 
But maybe he just wants to see celebrities. <laughs> but maybe he just has one thing. Now we can finally meet the writer. Erica and her friends enter Studio 4. But there's nobody inside. Except Hoshimi. This gloomy room fills you with dread. Hoshimi, what's going on? If I may speak freely, I believe the, water, the writer died in this place. His soul is still here. However, I sense a very evil presence. Contacting him may be dangerous. Oh, g g g g ghost! So scary! Wow! I will sing to the ghost. Mr. Ghost, don't feel so bad. Here's a song for you. Etika displays her miracle voice. Didn't seem to do it. If I may speak freely, your song appears to have erased the grudge. I will attempt to call out the spirit. Hashimi begins to concentrate. If I may speak freely, I cannot use my skill to its full potential. Unless I'm surrounded by stars. Forgive me. Uh, Momomi, do we know how to get stars? Ghost! Oh, I know what to do. Erika grasps the bat tightly. And beats the Hoshimi in the head. <laughs> Sorry. Erika hits Hoshimi's head with the bat. You're seeing stars now, right? I hope it's not a concussion. Do your thing, Hoshimi. Act dumb. <laughs> Yay! If I may speak freely, I shall let the spirit possess me. Oh, it's so sad. <laughs> I was rejected by a girl, so I killed myself. Oh dear, maybe this is the suicide that they uh, skirted around. <laughs> the songwriter is complaining, using Hoshimi as a medium. I'm sure you've had it real bad. But could you give me the lyrics to You Are the Derpy Girl? Mr. Ghost, don't feel so bad. Here's a song for you. Oh, here you go. Here's your here's your screenshot. A complete failure. Yay! I'll give it a sec. I'm so much so much more bouncier. Do you guys like this? It just feels like I, I tilt too much now. I don't know. <laughs> Hoshimi is still entranced. I'm gonna get a good guy, I'm gonna get a ghost. You can't beat yourself up forever. I'm sure you'll find a girlfriend in the afterlife. Smile. Tilting too much is good? Okay. Oh, what a wonderful smile. I can feel the darkness peel away from my heart. Thank you. I think I can finally move on. Hey, before you do that, um, can I get the derpy girl? If you want to thank me, please tell me those lyrics. Okay, I'll read them out for you. Oh dear, I don't have a pen. Oh, um... Momomi has one because she gets autographs. I always bring a pen in my autograph book with me to get autographs. This book is too precious for me to give up, but you can have the pen. Alright, so we have the pen. I can write the lyrics down on the business card. But I still need a pen. Oh, okay. Take a pen. <laughs> yeah, cookies bustle. Etika holds the business card in her left hand. Oh, I need to... Etika holds the pen in her right. Go right ahead, Mr. Ryder. Very well. Let's see. Oh, please. I'm begging you. The songwriter starts reading out the lyrics of the song. Go right ahead. Sorry. I have the pen, I've got that. I need to sing. This is not the time for that. Um Oh, take notes. <laughs> I like that there's a take notes now. Etika writes down the lyrics of the business card. On the business card. Thank you, Mr. Ryder. We have both the music and the lyrics. You can rest in peace now. Please pass on peacefully. And so Erika achieved her goal and made her way back to Yachio and the others. <laughs> it is a very good adventure game. 
Act 3, you are the derpy girl. Finale. Finiashed. Keep it up, Etika. Yes, I'll become a super idol for sure. Hey, Etika. Wanna exchange diaries? You, your breath stinks. <laughs> Act 4, the kooky quartet. Etika returns safely to Yacht. Yachiyo and her friends. Allow me to give you all the details about the Etika project. Thanks to Yayoi's money-making instincts, we have more funds than we ever hoped for. I'll say this much, we could probably buy a small country or two. <laughs> wow, calm down. That's why I'm thinking of creating a TV station for the purpose of showing Etika to give her <laughs> the Etika station to give her popularity. We'll call it the Love Etika channel, or LEC for short. All the paperwork is done, and we even brought or even bought our own satellite for broadcasting. The test broadcast will start in a few moments. Let's have a look. Yashio turns on the TV when suddenly. <laughs> it is I, the Cookie King. For some reason, the king is on TV. My friends from the Etika Project, your dear Hoshimi is in our custody. <laughs> Suddenly I got a text message. Hold on one sec. <laughs> if you want her back, Etika must come to the Kuki Castle on Mount Aso in the K Prefecture. Alone. Come to think of it, I haven't seen Hoshimi in a while. That it's true. They kidnapped her. I have to save her. You're not really thinking of going alone, are you? The king's target is me. If I don't do as he says, he might actually hurt Hoshimi. Very well. We won't stop you. We'll figure out some way to help you. Okay, I'm going. See you later. Welcome to the Kuki Castle. And just like that, you're in the cave prefecture. That must be the Kooky Castle. It sure is... something. <laughs> oh, who are you? A a adorable mascot person. Hey, 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 you... you will soon... You soon, you will understand what it means to be kooky. You hear a voice coming from behind you. When you turn around, you see a girl wearing a weird furry suit. <laughs> a scaly suit? Excuse me? She's wearing a suit in the shape of a lizard. Who are you? I'm Miyuki Yamori, a member of the Kuki Company. You're one of the idols who became a Kuki comedian. Yep, the king is waiting for you. Follow me. Anything I can take? Yes, we go on. Annika follows Miyuki inside the Kuki Castle. Soon after, she stands before the Kooky King. <laughs> it is, it is a furry convention. He's the kookiest creature of all still. Give up and join the Kooky Company. Let, oh, sorry. Let Hoshimi go. <laughs> Etika, I am going to conquer the world. I will use my cookie power to change this world into a silly, happy place. Won't you join me in my noble quest? No, I told you I want to move the hearts of everyone with my songs. I know your true desire. With that said, the king pulls a string. Aye! The floor suddenly opens under Erica's feet, and she falls to the basement. So I think this part is like the most adventure game part, if I remember. So I, I did see someone play this game like years ago. I don't quite remember anything about it. You see a door leading to another room. Above it is a sign reading Tortoise's Lair. Okay, so that goes to the Tortoise Lair. I think we're in like Bird or Phoenix, probably. I think it's unable to lift the stone lantern. And we're not carrying everything. I guess we move on. This is a crucial moment. Oh, okay. Oh, there it is, just here. Give up. Hey, what's the big idea? <laughs> the generals of my army, the Kooky Quartet, are down there in the basement. If you can defeat them all, 
I will return Hoshimi to you. Antika enters the tortoise's lair. Just then... You're not going any farther! A man wearing sunglasses blocks your way. I am the musician turned kooky comedian Masahashi Tajiro. You see the entrances to Bird's Lair and the Dragon's Lair. Oh, I love Dragon's Lair. Take control of the Valiant Knight on his quest to save the damsel from the clutches of an evil dragon. You control Dirk. I, I, I love I love Dragon's Lair. <laughs> Sorry. I am the Great Magician. <laughs> I guess musician, but I like saying I'm the Great Magician because of Kung Pao. I am a Great Magician. Your clothes are red. <laughs> mm, your clothes are blue. I love Kung Pao. It's a, such a dumb movie. I already referenced that's a lot of nuts earlier. <laughs> uh, anything to take? No. Let's move on, I guess. Let's see what's in the Dragon's Lair. Not going to happen, Cookie Paper Fan. Etika's hit by a traditional Osaka Paper Fan. Oh no. Oh, thank you, Melty Kit, for the follow. Welcome. Welcome aboard the Dream Harrier. I'm Snake Man, and I'll be your captain and guide. Farm says you've never heard of Dragon Slayer? It's a classic Laserdisc arcade game. Basically, quick time event game, but I love it because my father loved it, and he, he, every time he could find like a version to try to bring home, like uh, the DVD version or Windows 95 port, I, I learned how to play Dragon Slayer from the uh, Windows 95. Hello, Melty Kit. We're all just dancing, acting dumb. <laughs> Ow, that hurt. It won't harm you, King's orders. Or I won't harm you. So we can't go in the Dragon's Lair. Can we, can we sing? The Miracle Voice. I'm wearing earplugs. I can't hear you. Oh no, he's got AirPods on. <laughs> Erica starts dancing with grace and elegance. Yeah, you go, girl. Tanjiro seems happy. You're going to overdo it. I don't get it. Just let me through, okay? Playing dumb won't work with me. Okay. Anything else? Oh, there's a wall here. There's nothing particularly off about it, but... Hmm. Nothing particularly off about the wall, but... He's wearing sunglasses. A chandelier on the ceiling illuminates the room. <laughs> Tajiro's a believer in girl power. You go, girl! Rock it! Uh, not gonna happen. Okay, so we can't leave anymore. We're, we're just here. Oh! Okay, use your head. This is gonna be hard for her. Sunglasses? That's it! <laughs> oh no, she she thought. I just imagine smoke coming out of her head. <laughs> just, ah, uh, because she can't even read. <laughs> if he's wearing sunglasses, you won't be able to see anything in the dark. I'll turn off the lights. Act smart. <laughs> There's nothing particularly off about it, but... Wait, that was the chandelier. You notice the chandelier switch. Use the switch. When you press the switch, the chandelier turns off and the room becomes dark. Whoa, I can't see! Tanjiro yells out, panicking. Uh, anything else in here? You can barely walk in this darkness. But we can barely walk. We can't even look. Uh, can I take his sunglasses off his head? Where are you, damn it? <laughs> but he's so cool. He's also a furry. Etika starts dancing, but nothing happened. Etika smile, but it had no effect. It should be. It should like relight the room. Okay, I guess we can just move on. Now's my chance. Etika enters the dragon's lair. Oh my! What a coincidence. By the way. 
Did you know there are actually 13 items in a baker's dozen? You'd recognize that weird hairdo anywhere. It's the most informed columnist. Kawashi Yakeni. <laughs> Tishi's proud of that fact. <laughs> why are you with the cookie or why are you with the cookie company? Because I can be true to myself here. I can become a bird. I just had to follow the king's orders, and he turned me into a star. You should do it too. Join us. By the way, did you know the self the sailfish is the fastest fish in the ocean? Oh, Kusha, uh, Kawashi's a, a male. I always, I guess I was doing the female. Oh, well, I'm still gonna go with that voice. He's complimenting his weird hairdo by wearing a weird owl suit. You see the entrances to Tiger's Lair and Phoenix Lair. And Tortoise Lair. Okay, so we can go everywhere here. This is, we're in the Dragon's Lair. I think we came from the... We came from the Tortoise Lair, so we haven't been to Tiger yet. Are we gonna have a quiz on this trivia? Probably. Let's see. Nothing to take. You're not carrying anything. Etiquette displays her miracle voice. I can't hear you. I'm wearing German-made earplugs. By the way, did you know the Red Baron's real name was Manfred von Rick Richthofen? I'm a dance at her. Mm -hmm, such lovely moves. By the way, did you know Claude Monet starred, started the Impressionist movement? I know that from a uh, cubic gallery. I, wait, I don't, because I can't read that. <laughs> but I didn't know it. You're gonna overdo it with your smiling. I'm but a simple peasant. Please let me through, good sir. My, what an old-fashioned joke. By the way, did you know the U.S. Constitution was written in 1787? So then we tried all that. Anything else to look at? Can we move? Let's try the tiger lair. I can't let you through. The Spanish currency is called Peseta Punch! Eek! Electricity runs through Erica's body. This is a stun gun. As you've seen, it gives an electric shock. She's fucking tasering us. I've always been interested in the latest technologies. By the way, did you know Marie Antoinette was the last queen of France? Let Hoshimi go. <laughs> you need to chill out. Did you know the coldest town in the world is Oymyakon? Oymyakon. Get it? I told you to chill out and I told you a cold trivia. <laughs> He's laughing at his own joke. <laughs> He's laughing. What if I dance at her again? <laughs> I just like dancing. Hmm. Okay, same dialogue for talk. You see the entrances to Tiger's Lair, Phoenix Lair, and toward this lair. Anything new on Ko Koshima? So I can't go to the Tiger Lair, can I go back? seeing what's around here. Can't take that. Maybe she'll let us back into... or what was it? We're in the Dragon's Lair. Oh, we haven't been to the Phoenix Room either. Let's see if we can go there. I can't let you through. Oh no, it's the Peseta Punch again. <laughs> this is a stun gun. So she's not letting us through to those other rooms. Um, if we go back to... Oh no, I guess this just goes back to the Tortoise Lair. Erica has no choice but to retreat. The lights are still off and Tajiro, Tajiro is still yelling. 
Where are you, damn it? Where are you? I think a smile! Yeah, no effect. I think a dance! <laughs> um. I barely walk. I'm not carrying anything, so we can't use the switch anymore. The lights are still off. We have no friends, we are alone. Oh, hi. <laughs> For some reason, Lomibia's here. The reason being Japanese adventure game logic. Momomi, what, what are you doing here? I, w I was worried about you. I'm used to sneaking into idols' dressing rooms, so this was a piece of cake. Momomi, you've, you've got some explaining to do. Oh well, come on, let's go. you have anything to say here? What should we do now, Erica? Alright, maybe I need you for the Dragon's Lair. I read in the magazine that Kuwashi Yakeni acts crazy only when he has a weird hairdo on. If we untie that top knot, he'll act like a normal guy. Hey, stop revealing all my secrets. By the way, did you know hummingbirds are the only birds capable of flying backwards? Oh, just like the Calibri on the 32X. So we need to ruin your hair. <laughs> Take stun gun. Take knot. Erica tries to reach out for Kawashi's top knot. Ah, oh, so young and so naive. The aardvark is native to Africa. Punch! Eek! Momimi, distract. You can do it. Erica starts dancing. Mm, such lovely moves. But a simple peasant. Hmm. You're not carrying any anything. Take stun gun. <laughs> Aye. You see the entrances to the other layers. He's complimented his weird hairdo with the weird owl suit. Can't take the knot. Mama me doesn't seem useful right now. Okay, we're trapped in here, so something must happen. I can't hear you, I'm wearing German-made earplugs. Okay, that's the same. I tried everything, right? I danced at her. That's the Monet line. Smiles, you're gonna overdo it. Act dumb as the simple peasant. You can do it, Erica. I just keep trying, I guess. I'm gonna keep getting punched. Haven't you learned your lesson yet? Reagan is the fifth... <laughs> 50th US President Punch! Eek! Time to correct. A fact has been made incorrectly. You're wrong! Ronald Reagan is actually the 40th President of the United States. Hmm, I know because I've... I've been localized in America. <laughs> I'm good at social studies, you know. Got it. Oh my gosh, did a little girl just correct me in trivia? My pride as the most informed columnist is in crumbles. My raison de... I, I, I always forget to pronounce that. But how do you... I, I don't... I forget. I'm sorry. I'm not very cultured. <laughs> it's going through Gesaltzer fall. Now to take your knot. Erica takes the opportunity to untie the knot on Kuwazaki's head. Victory! Take stun gun. Uh, I think it's the time to take the stun gun video game. He has a proper hairdo now, but you can't see it because we didn't draw a sprite for it. The raison d'etre. d'etre? Alright, so we still haven't been in Tiger or Phoenix. Oh, I should stay here. Wow, that was cool. I can't take that. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, what have been what have I been doing? Kawashi is back to being a cool columnist. 
I think it brings them up to date. I can hardly believe this is what I've been doing. I start back from scratch. Here, take the stun gun with you. Etika receives the stun gun. Kawashi, having turned over a new leaf, leaves the cookie castle. Yep, we made them normal again. From the cookie tower, the cookie king and Miyuki observe Etika's struggles with a series of hidden cameras. My king, why won't you finish her off? She possesses a cookiness that only appears once every hundred years. Look well. She's turning sillier and sillier as she faces the quartet. Before she realizes what's happening, she'll become a true kooky. The more she fights, the more she turns into a kooky. Such is the king's cunning plan. Unaware of this, Erica is... Dumb. <laughs> Let's go... Tiger. Tiger, tiger, tiger. Chuckle. Well done coming this far. A plump man in his frog suit stands before you. My name is Toru Watanabe. I was once... I was known for my good looks once, but I put on too much weight. That's why I became a cookie comedian. Aw, oh, if, uh... Hoshimi was here, she... She was fat shaming you again. He's about as fat as Gagawa and Yoshiro... Yoroshio. Isn't Yoroshio a sumo wrestler? Jeez. You see the entrance to Dragon's Lair. But why are you with the Kooky Company? Because I'm too fat to get hired as a handsome man. That's why. Toru attacks you without warning. I'm going to slap you silly. It's a sumo level slapping attack. Dance at him. <laughs> Watching her dance just makes me hungrier. It appears that Gluttony made him lose his human heart. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a bummer, but it is of the time, you just gotta remember that. We could, you know, we've all, as long as we know better, you know. Erica displays her miracle voice. Songs won't satisfy my hunger. Do I look that funny to you? The players that got Gluttony has made him lose his human heart. I like chubby guys. They have a lot of presence. Stop lying. I know you just think I'm fat. Whoa, what a predicament. Erica thrusts the stun gun towards Turu. Darg. Shocked in both senses. Turu's attack slows down. Do it again. Just, just keep doing it. Okay. Just keep killing him. He's in a frenzy and won't listen. Should probably run away first. Uh, I guess we can leave now. So we don't have the solution here, I think. But Push back with Toru's attacks. Erika's forced to retreat to Dragon Slayer. He slapped me first, to be fair. <laughs> Stop, you're not running away from me. Sure, chases after you. Uh oh, he's following us. Where do we go? Let's go to the Phoenix Lair. Stop! You're not running away from me. You see the entrance to Dragon's Lair. He's about as fat as Gago. Yeah, it's the same thing. Are you going to try wrestling? There doesn't seem to be anything in this room. Stop it, you're not running away from me. What if we go to the dark room? It's weird because, like, it could all be almost be like commentary on the entertainment industry, but it, it, yeah. I think it's, it's probably just, hey, we were shitty. <laughs> I can't believe Toa Chica, Tiki, <laughs> Toa Chica, Toa Chiki were shitty. Hey, stop running! Lights are still off and Tajiro is still yelling. Tajiro. Where are you? He's in a frenzy. Okay, let's go back to Bird Lair. Stop running away from me. Another stun gun. <laughs> stun gun headbutt. 
Sogs won't work. Mama Me won't work. Dancing won't work. It just makes him hungrier. He's gonna eat me. It's not much point in acting dumb. Oh no. Can I take your glasses now? Are you gonna try to wrestle? Yes. <laughs> Can we use anything in here? I should probably run away first. No, I like the idea of just stu stunning uh, Tachiro. Okay, we're back here now. I was just seeing maybe we can tire him out. Uh, I mean, let's see, there's like a lamp thing in the first room. Maybe we can get him to like run into it or something. <laughs> That's enough. I'm going to hit him with this lantern. Oof. She just suddenly has the strength to lift this up. The stone lantern just smashed over his head. With a rush of adrenaline, Etika manages to lift the stone lantern. Suddenly, <laughs> grumble, there's a noise coming from the nearby wall. Oh my, it's a secret door. But can I still kill him with the stone lantern? That'd be cool. Erika enters the secret room. Hey, stop running! The room is full of mirrors! Ah! This is! Toru yells out all of a sudden. Toru is aghast at the sight of his reflection in the mirrors. Is, is this really me? Oh, I'm so ugly. Toru starts sweating like crazy. This place is flooded with sweat. Stop it! Don't look at me! He's covered in cold sweat. You can't use that right now. That'll kill him. Erica starts dancing. But nothing happened. Erica sings. But nothing happens. Erica smile. It had no effect. Why are you acting dumb? What should we do now, Erica? Hmm. What do we do? He's covering the whole cold sweat. Stop it. Don't look at me. Maybe I'll just stay in here? Erica leaves Toru frozen in place and returns to Bird Lair. But Ma Masashi T Tajiro was waiting for her. I had to take off my sunglasses. You're not getting running away this time. Oh god, his eyes are terrifying. He knows how his eyes are all glittery without his sunglasses. This is why I wear sunglasses. I'm too embarrassed of my eyes. I'm so sorry I said they were terrifying. Now that you've seen them, I can't let you walk away. Erica tries to hit Tanjiro with the stun gun, but he easily dodges her. Okay, but he has... I can smile at him now. Oh, okay. Can I dance at him? Oh. Um... Wow, you, you have such cute eyes. They're so charming. Is, is that so? <laughs> Tanjiro is full of himself and lowers his guard. Oh. Yeah, I didn't thought that would work. Let me lower his guard again. His eyes are glittering. It's so funny. Anything in here? Maybe you just move past them? No. Take a room? How's it going in here? There's an unfamiliar man inside. You know who this is, probably. Hey, I know him. This is Toru... Warenabe. Warenabe. Before he put on weight. Apparently, he sweats so much that he went back to his former shape. Good for him. While you're there acting carefree, Masashi Tajiro chases after you. 
I'll kill you! I'm serious! Oh no! He's really lost it. He's brandishing a knife. Erica manages just to avoid getting stabbed. Oh no! Erika dodges the knife and pulls the stun gun on Tajiro. He stops attacking you, for now. His eyes are glittering. It's so funny still. He's pretty handsome. He's fainted and won't wake up. Can I stun him? Erika tries to thrust the stun gun forward, but it doesn't go as intended. And Tanjiro hits her with a paper fan, and Erika loses consciousness. Alright, we got a, a bad end. But it's okay, because I think it restarts. She's brought to the Kooky King, who brainwashes her, and turns her into the Kooky Queen. No! We have been turned into the Kooky Queen. Press A to continue. <laughs> yeah, so this game, there's no real game overs in this game. Alright, so... Try dancing out of the way? You'll get stabbed! Okay. Now, how about now? Erika starts dancing with grace and elegance. Wakey, wakey, sleepyhead. Rise and shine, Mr. Toru. After hearing Erika's brisk, singing voice, Toru wakes up immediately. Help me! Get stabbed! H help us! Hmm, a damsel in distress. Back to his former glory, Toru jumps to protect Erika and gets stabbed. Oh. Thank you for returning me back to my old self. It was the Kooky King who ordered me to get fat. Looking at myself in the mirror broke that curse. It's too late for me now. Could you let me hear you sing again? Desserts are sure to give you smiles all day long. Should you really be singing about desserts? What a lovely voice. Toro loses consciousness. He's pretty handsome and dead. Tajiro is not moving. Take the knife. Erika tries to take the knife, but doesn't go as intended. No! <laughs> We have become the Cookie Queen again. I just wanted to stab a fool. I'll kill you! Okay, do we have to do everything again? So we need to use the stun gun. And then we need to sing. And then... Toru, help us! Then get stabbed. How could you? Then you sing about desserts. Toro loses consciousness. How could you do this, Tajiro? Even though I could have stabbed you, you still granted Toru's wish to sing for him. You win, little girl. Tajiro is unexpectedly acting cool, even if he just murdered someone. Gather some of his sweat and pour it over his wounds. <laughs> Toad's oil is an ancient natural remedy. I'm sure it'll work. Thank, thank you, Mr. Tajiro. You are still going to jail, though. Oh, wait. He's pretty handsome. He's fainted and won't wake up. Oh, take sweat. Erika gathers Toru's sweat in the bottle. Erika pours the sweat over Toru's wounds. It seems to be working. He's fainted and won't wake up. Eric, wow, you're so good, Erica. Well, maybe he is clapping her hands. Wow, wow, wow. Toru's still dead. Thank you, Mr. Tajiro. Hmm. Guess this makes me unfit to be one of the kooky quartet. I better find an honest job now, not stabbing people. Hasta la vista, baby. And with that, Tajiro leaves. Alright, he's still fainted. Okay, we can't move on. The miracle voice is not waking him up. I 
I'm worried about Toru. Momimi, could you watch over him? Okay. Back to the bird's lair. Okay. So, back to the dragon's lair. So, he was in the tiger's lair. Is there anything going on in here? I mean, there's a really good tiger on the wall. <laughs> I wanted to take it. I have no friends. I have a sweat bottle and a stun gun. Let's go back to the phoenix lair. It is a good picture. It is. I love that tiger. <gasps> Miyuki Yamaro was waiting for her. She's wearing a suit of the shape of a lizard. A bunch of goons are lined up. Let's look at Phoenix as well. You actually managed to defeat three of the quartet. The Cookie King is very impressed. He's waiting for you in the tower. Follow me. Alone once again, Etika makes her way up the Cookie Tower. What evil traps could be waiting for her? Act four, the Cookie Quartet. Looks like we're almost at the end. I wonder what's going to happen. I could've knocked those cookie guy out with my karate. You would've. I wish you were here. <sighs> I've been around since Act 2 and I haven't seen a single punch. Here, I brought some non-alcoholic punch. Derp. Idol, or Act 5, The Kooky King. Derp. Annika follows Miyuki Yamori up the tower of the Kooky Castle until she faces the Cookie King. Oh, now it's been, it's been upgraded to a gecko suit. <laughs> He's the cookiest creature of all. Join us, one of us. Let Hoshimi go. You promised. <laughs> Very well. Very well. She's free to go. But it is it. But is it really what she wants? Hoshimi. Let's go home, Hoshimi. If I may speak freely, I cannot follow you, Erika. Huh? Why not? I am truly sorry, Erika. The truth is, I am a spy. <gasps> not Hoshimi. She looks at you apologetically. Take Hoshimi. Hoshimi was a spy I sent to watch you all along. In fact, Ichiro Shinjitsu was me all along, an identity I created to get in touch with you. <gasps> Shock. <laughs> Everything I've done, sending Hoshimi and Kuwashi to guide you through your trials, was for a single purpose, giving you the skills to help me create a cookie paradise. Why are you so obsessed with me? <laughs> Because of your incredible potential, you are a cookie thoroughbred, after all. You are my granddaughter! <gasps> Whoa! This is it, right? This is Idol Hakenden's. Big plot twist! Act on. Join me, my granddaughter. Join my army as the Cookie Queen. Hoshimi, help me. She looks at you apologetically. The problem is how to use it. Use it. <laughs> uh, I assume if it yes, it'll just be that Cookie Queen ending. I told you. I want to move the hearts of people from all over the world with my songs. Enough of that nonsense. Take this! Kuki Alpha Beam. The king fires the Kuki Alpha Beam from his fingertip, hitting Etika. Eek! That's the king's super skill. The Kuki Alpha Beam. The longer it hits you, the crazier you get. You better surrender and join us quickly. Washimi. I need to, I need to sing. What's wrong? Where's your usual pr a pep? I can't move. 
Why are you acting dumb? Okay, none of our actions will work. There's nothing to take. This isn't exactly a good moment. That's the king's super move! <laughs> don't, don't do this, Grandpa. Unfortunately, this plea has no effect on the king. Ah, so ready to join me yet? N no. I told you I want to move the hearts of people from all over the world with my songs. Etika stubbornly refuses. Just a little longer and my beam will completely destroy your brain. Forget being the queen. You'll be a normal dumb kooky. Is that what you want? I told you I want to move the hearts of people from all over the world with my songs. And so, due to her stubbornness, Etika is completely brainwashed by the kooky alpha beam. And she becomes one of the king's many minions. Bad end. We died again. We were too stubborn. Okay. Join us! Let Hoshimi go. Talk to Hoshimi. I'll talk to her again, probably. Yep. Uh, that's the twist. And then the bigger twist. Grandpa! Uh, he was shooting us with a dumb beam, and we became too dumb. <laughs> we be became too kooky. No. I imagine it has to do something with this beam. Maybe I can fire it back at him. Help me, Hoshimi. Sing again until it stops working. So if I talk to him, he's gonna just propose that question again. The stun gun isn't working. The sweat bottle isn't working. Move doesn't work. Hoshimi doesn't work. He's the kookiest creature of them all. And Yuki's still wearing a the gecko suit. Act dumb doesn't work. The smile doesn't work. The dance can't move. I'm gonna have to talk to him, I guess. Don't do this. Oh, okay, now we have a different... Okay. Let's try the sun gun now. No? Let's try Miyuki now. Or Hoshimi, sorry. She's still... Oh, shit. Okay. Don't go to talk yet. Nothing to take. Can't use that. The miracle voice isn't helping. We still can't move. I should pretend to surrender for now. Okay, I'll become the Kooky Queen. Oh, that's great. The Kooky King was easily, easily deceived. <laughs> Dang, thought that would work. Shimi's still not helpful. How are you going to conquer the world anyway? Follow me. I'll show you. The king guides Erika to a secret base inside Mount Aso. There's a giant parabolic antenna inside Mount Aso. How does this awesome device work? This antenna will let me control every satellite in orbit as I see fit. Then I'll be able to fire my kooky alpha beam from every communication institution and TV set all over the world. Wow, that's awesome! Afterwards, everyone will turn into a kooky, and the entire world will be a very silly place. <laughs> oh, Shimi, we can't let this happen. Huh, I, I don't get it. Acting dumb? I like it. You're turning kookier by the minute. Hmm. 
Can't use that. Can't use that. Now the entire world will become a cookie paradise! Oh, how cute. Erica starts dancing! <laughs> You're already singing for no reason at all, like a proper kooky. Splendid. This must have cost a lot of money to build. Behold. <gasps> the king points towards Erika's sisters, Shizuki, Shizuka, and Reika. They have been turned kooky. They went full kooky. You never go full kooky. <laughs> Shizuka, Reika, what are you doing here? Ah, kooky kooky. Ah. No. Hoshimi, help. What have you done to my sisters? Your dear sisters asked me to turn you into a kooky comedian. So I brainwashed them as they deserved. They may have been small-minded, but their funds proved useful to my cause. <gasps> kooky kooky. Your dear sisters asked... Oh, no, that's the same line. Huh? I don't get it. Acting dumb? I like it. <laughs> hmm. Hoshimi. Now the entire world would become kooky. Not the stun gun yet. Or, I don't know, never. Kooky kooky. Hey, hey, hey. You're already singing for no reason at all like a proper kooky. Splendid. Oh no, we're getting kookier by the minute. Oh, how cute. I don't know what to, what to do. They're kooky. King looks very happy. You're already singing for no reason at all, like a proper kooky. Splendid. Kooky kooky, hey hey hey! Kooky kooky, hey hey hey! Okay, that's not working. Hmm. He's very happy. It's now or never! Erica thrusts the stun gun towards the king. Arg! The king lure his guard. Do it again. Arg! The king rides in pain. Fuck him up. <laughs> they seem to be all in a panic. Hmm, can't talk. They went full kooky. Arg! Maybe it's time. Nothing. Just kill. <laughs> Erko has a thirst for blood and must be sated. Maybe I can... Oh, I can move. It's now or never. Erika leaves through the door. <gasps> Calm room or a secret room? There's a door labeled the communication room and one labeled the secret room. Secret room, if it goes to the last secret room, that's a bunch of mirrors. Inside the room is a muscle-bound foreigner who immediately captures Erica. Well... <laughs> well... <laughs> you can see where my logic went, though. Be able to just shock him till he dies, I think. Wait, what? Oh, I have to look first, probably. To the comm room. Inside the communications room is a cookie goon. He's great, I love him. What a stupid outfit. No, he's cool. There are many communication devices. Not a good time. Just shock him, too. <laughs> Erica pushes the stun gun on the goo and he passes out. He's not waking up.
I gotta find all the paths. The 100% run. I wonder, can we sing into it? No? Can we... Take something? No. We're alone. Why are you acting dumb? Erica, smile! It had no effect. He's not waking up. There's nothing to pick up. Oh. Oh, I got a communicator. Did it tell me I got a communicator? Well, I have a communicator. Erica uses one of the devices to contact her friends. <laughs> Do you copy? Misao answers her call. That you, Erica? We're right at the bottom of Mount Asao. That's great. I'll be there soon. Wait for me. Anything else in here? Let's stay here a bit longer. Okay. Can I stun him again? <laughs> Should I give him my singing? Oh. He's not waking up. I can't use my sweat bottle. Can't move. Can't dance. Can't smile. Can't dumb. Can't move. You notice he has a gun holstered. You may need it. <gasps> Take pistol. It's time. Erica, it's time to kill. Erica leaves the communications room, but she finds the Cookie King waiting for her. You tricked me. You forced my hand. Now you face Ben Benson, drug and... Ben Benson, drug and field champion. <laughs> ah! A muscle-bound foreigner appears out of nowhere. You doubt it'll work well in this situation. No, I can't kill. I'll blind him with my smile, no? No singing. Moshimi! Erica's alone. He's wearing a cheetah suit. He's the kookiest creature. The words don't seem to reach Ben Benson. Can't trip him with the water either. So stun gun and pull it don't work. Erica starts running, but Ben Benson is too fast. He's getting closer. This isn't actually a good moment to take to use. Erica's alone. Can't look, can't talk. Can't sing. Can't dance. Have any options? Erica starts running. He's too fast. He's getting closer. Finally, Erica is cornered in front of a cliff. Take the jump, Erica. It's a long way down. You really don't want to fall. Benson, don't do this. I don't want to shoot you. Erica grips the pistol and points it forward menacingly. Don't come any closer. Uh, uh, I'll shoot. But Ben Benson does not seem to care and draws closer. Do it. Can't really do it. I can't shoot him. Erica points the gun upwards and fires a warning shot. Bang. As he hears the gunshot, Ben Benson, for some reason, assumes the starting position of a track and field event. Oh, I was hoping I could just move out of the way. Use your head. He's getting ready for a flying start. He must have trained so much that a gunshot makes him dash as a conditioned reflex. Okay, still can't move. Let's see. If you shoot now, your plan won't work. Your words don't seem to reach him. He's getting ready for a flying start. Hmm. Erica displays the miracle voice. What? He can't understand Japanese lyrics. All right, he's foreign. His name's Ben. I can't dance out of the way. Erica raises both hands and pretends to surrender. I surrender. Come and get me. Ben Benson approaches slowly. Pistol. Erica points the gun upwards and fires. Bang. As soon as the gun shot, as soon as he hears the gunshot, Ben Benson goes for a flying start. He dashes straight over the edge of the cliff, and he's now dead. I can't shoot this man. 
but I can make him fall to tumble to his death. Because then it's not my... <laughs> it's not my responsibility. <laughs> Whoa. You mean judging of Etika? Ah, I'll be back. <laughs> He's an Olympic athlete, so this fall won't hurt him. Yep. Yep. <laughs> the body count. Etika's body count's higher than Rambo in the first Rambo, which just makes sense. Because <laughs> he doesn't really kill. Having escaped from Ben Benson, Etika returns to the mirror room inside the Cookie Castle. Can I take a mirror? Toru's lying on the floor. He's sleeping. He's not waking up. Oh, even my voice didn't wake him up. Oh, I can't just, like, shoot the mirror. That won't work. Oh, Momomi's here. How Toru is doing? He's doing better now. This should be fine to move him. Can you guide us outside? Shoot! Arm! Body! Head! Head! Dodge left! <laughs> Bark like a dog! Etika follows Momimi outside the Cookie Castle. Is everyone here? It'll be fine if we all do it together. Nachio and the rest of your friends are here. After reuniting with her friends, Etika tells them about the Cookie King's plot. We can't let him go through with his mad plan! You said it. He's totally bonkers. Now more than ever, the seven girls are firmly... <laughs> I'm still in the voice. Determined to stop the king's ambition. Okay, that just goes to that. I like this song. <laughs> then I shoot my friends. No! Etika and their friends entered the secret base. The Cookie King was waiting for them. You little brats. I'll turn you all into cookies. Attack my minions. Miyuki and the rest of the goons attack Etika and their friends. Oh no. Miyuki attack. She's wearing a gecko suit. Still the cookiest creature. There's a giant pair of bot- Okay, that's the same thing. What a stupid outfit. Uh... Midori kicked their ass. Wow, what do we do now? I'm itching for a good fight. Kick their ass, Midori. Get their ass. Okay. There's too many of them. Murasaki. Leave it to me. I'll blow them away with my gunpowder. Kaboom! Murasaki's gunpowder explodes, blowing the goons away. Curse you. Enraged, the king charges ahead. Kick their ass, Midori. I'll kick the king's butt with my karate. Here I come. Who do you think you are, the karate kid? The king fires his kooky alpha beam at Midori. Midori immediately goes kooky. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Midori, no! Sorry, that was all the gunpowder I brought. <laughs> I can't believe Midori's a cookie. There's too many of them. Hoshimi. She still looks at us apologetically. I'm pretty much only good with computers. Has Miss done anything? I'll say this much. I'll make you pay for what you've done to Midori. Even though she was scared before, Yayoi suddenly throws herself at the king. <laughs> Accursed girls, I'll turn you all into cookies. Special pose. Acho! Yayoi X Midori. It's the true, the true ship we needed. They, these are, are evil furries. There are good furries in the world, and then these are the evil ones. The king assumes his ultimate kooky pose. It's so idiotic that Erdika and her friends sink down to the floor. And now have a taste of my kooky beam. Oh no. Uh... Momomi! I don't know what to do! 
I've always been useless. No, okay. <laughs> Can't move. Midori's kookied. What can we do? Murasaki is useless. What's wrong? Where's your usual prep? Alright, I will fucking shoot you then. Erica readies the gun. <laughs> do you have what it takes to shoot a real person, Erica? No, I can't. Do it. Kill him. You doubt it'll work well in this situation. The sweat bottle won't work either. He's getting closer. There's nothing to pick up. He can't move. He can't smile. There's not much point in acting dumb. Erika, give me the gun! Hmm? Shoot his ass. Oh. Erika hands the gun over. Gacha points the gun at the king and fires. <laughs> Bang. However, she misses, grazing the horse stall instead. She's cool. Are you trying to kill my dear kooky gallop? The king is truly enraged now. He unsheaves his sword and charges at you. Eek! Try it again. Nope, she can't you move. Pushimi, help! Watch out! Suddenly, Pushimi jumps to cover Etika. King hits Hoshimi. Her shriek of pain is enough to break Erika free from the curse. You hurt Erika! The king is trembling. How dare you! There's something I can use. Hoshimi's not waking up. Wait, we have the. Okay. We had the, the sweat still. That saved that one dude from being stabbed. But it still work. Momimi is still useless. Um, Misao can't move. Oops. Yayoi can't move. I did all my actions, right? Okay. Except for the stun gun. As soon as, she st yeah. as soon as she stands, Etika thrusts the stun gun towards the king. Arg! C -c curse you, Hoshimi! Have you forgotten who raised you? The king can barely stand after receiving that electric shock. Do it again. How could you? How could you do this to Hoshimi? I'll never forgive you! The king writhes in pain. Keep doing it. Kill his ass. Hoshimi. Hoshimi, hang in there. If, if I may speak freely, I'm sorry I deceived you. Etika, I really wanted to be friends with all of you. Aww. It's only a scratch. You'll be fine. If I may speak freely, I know this is a mortal wound. My end is nigh. Etika pours toward his sweat over Hoshimi's injury. Hoshimi, hang in there. If I may speak freely, I actually feel better. I may yet survive. Hoshimi, please, tell me where his tell me his weakness. If I may speak freely, the king's weakness is that horse. Plush. Horse plush. That's what it is. Cookie gallop. You must take it off of him. Say but sweat of a fat guy. It's, it's toad sweat. It's okay. Etika leaps towards the king, attempting to take Gallop off. You fool! Behold! Cookie Alpha Beam! The king fires Cookie Alpha Beam from his fingertips, hitting Etika. Etika collapses on the floor. The king stamps his foot over her head and grinds against it. Whoa. Eek! I'll take my time brainwashing you. I'm not falling for that again. Oh no, it tramples her right arm. This isn't exactly a good moment for Hoshimi. Anyone? Can anyone help me? 
Sorry, I just like that sprite. I don't know what to do. I'm the only one unaffected by anything. The king looks very happy. Erica takes out the bottle of sweat. Mm, what are you planning to do with that? The king looks at you mockingly. I'm doing this. Erica splashes the king's eyes with Toru's sweat. Ah, it stings! The king covers his eyes, yelling in pain. Erica pushes the stun gun into ki the king's nether regions. Ah! The king rises in pain. Now's my chance! Erica jumps on the king and tears off Kuki Gallop. Arg! The king lets out a terrible scream and finally falls to the ground. The king is no more. In his place, Ichiro Shinjutsu lies on the floor. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, uh, Toachiki. Makers of Weeka Garfield. This is also made by Natsume, which probably explains the really good sprite art. But I'm sure Toachiki maybe probably had a good hand in the story. <laughs> He's sleeping. So Gallop was the king's weakness. He's not waking up. That won't be useful. I don't know, I feel like if you stun gun someone that's sleeping, they'd wake up. I'm glad that the main theme came back. Fully recovered. If I may speak freely, it appears you have destroyed the king. You may relax now. <laughs> and so Erica managed to protect the world status quo. The house fully recovered. How about uh, Midori? Oh, okay, she's not kooky anymore. I want her to beat the king's ass, though. Momimi is fully recovered, even though Momimi seemed fine. <laughs> God, that lie. <laughs> Miracle voice will work. No? So Gallop was the king's weakness. Erika inadvertently sits astride Kooky Gallop. A few seconds later, eek! Erika lets out a shriek. What's wrong, Erika? Erika? Wrong. I am the Cookie Queen. I won't fail this time. I will create the Cookie Paradise. With that said, Erica, no, the Cookie Queen, retreated to an unknown destination. As a matter of fact, Cookie Gallop was the king's true identity all along. By mounting it, you lose your true self and become the new Cookie King or Queen. And so Erica became the Cookie Queen, spreading silliness and idios idiocy all over the world. <laughs> act dumb, everyone. Oh, I haven't. I, I can act dumb. Oh, wait, I have to... I don't know why this isn't open... There we go. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> mm, you missed an easy putt. I did, I got a bad end. I may speak freely. That was splendid, Erica. How do I get him to wake up, though? I gotta dance! The miracle voice didn't work, either. So don't take the horse. Oh, I actually can't take the horse. Oh, no, that was used horse. Shimi's just got this. Oh, you may relax now. And so Etika managed to protect the world's status quo. Okay, now we got to that line. Weird. Do you do that every other line? No. Still not waking up. You just have to try things at different times because that's just how the logic in these games work. Hmm. Do I have any friends that can solve this? Ichiro Shinjutsu is waking up. Having fully recovered or having recovered consciousness, Shinjutsu tells you of the story of the terrible Kuki Queen King. 
It's a miracle voice. It can do anything. A long time ago, I was a popular entertainer. Just like you, I had to fight against the Kooky Company. I was able to defeat them. But the moment I touched the Kooky Gallop, I fell under its influence. Yeah, I mean, we saved our grandfather by stunning him in the balls. So basically, Kooky Gallop was the true king. While they're talking, Yachio and the others come back. Etika, we've decided to have your debut show right here. We can use the devices here to control the communications network of the entire planet. In other words, we can force the whole planet to watch your show. Pretty cool, huh? It seems that defeating the king brought Midori back to her senses. We love Midori. We stand Midori here. That does sound cool. <laughs> Mondo cool. Okay, let's get ready for it. <laughs> well, it's like, it's the thing that was controlling your grandfather. It's the... <laughs> oh, you're you're wondering if the, the horse is your grand... No, I think it's this guy. It seems like he's, like, telling her the story. And, like, he was an idol or entertainer as well. I, I think it, it works. That does sound cool. Let's get ready for it. It's not evil at all. Hi! -hi. I'm Etika Sionji. How are you doing? Please listen to my song. Hijacking the entire plant's television network is a very daring move, even for Etika, wouldn't you say? But when she displays her miracle voice, this criminal act becomes a trivial matter, as the people go wild with enthusiasm. Thank you, everyone! I'm going to sing my debut song. You are the derpy girl. Please cheer for me. Let's all sing along. Everyone, sing along. Oh, please, I'm begging you. Oh, please, I'm begging you. Oh, please, I'm begging you. Beg me with you. Oh, please, I'm begging you. Oh, please, I'm begging you. Oh, please, I'm begging you. Don't drive me crazy. Why are you so, so mischievous? Every time I'm with you. Oh, every time I'm with you, I can see the stars. I know, I know. There are times you get cute with me. Yeah, I'm losing my voice already. When I see you like that, I can't help but blush. Lovey dovey, uh, take my hand and I'll take yours. You are such a derby girl. On your step or you'll fall down. Derp too late for that. Please don't get mad at me. I can't sing anymore because I lost my voice during karaoke. She's a good the more precious than my song and my friends. I don't need anything else. So you can have the Sionji inheritance all for yourself. We lost. Yes, in the end, we were no match for her. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. I'll buy you a cream puff. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. Here, have some more sweets. There are times you act like a cat. When you brush against me, my heart skips a bee. Lovey dovey, I wonder what makes her sweet. <laughs> Must be those cakes she eats. She's eating one right now. Nom nom, you act first and think later. Uh, you are such a derpy girl. I, yeah, your, yeah, may your dreams always come true. I will cheer you on. You're the best in the world. Yeah, I lost... Uh, if I may speak freely, it's only a matter of time until Attica becomes the world's greatest idol. I'll say this much. I'm already considering selling Attica Manju at my shop. You're great, Attica. If you were a firework, you'd be the brightest one in Japan. Just so you know, I'm totally making a fan club. Nobody's taking the number one fan spot from me. Hmm, maybe I'll make a game about her. 
You better make some extra space at your next concert, because I'm bringing my gang to cheer you on. I knew you had all the right qualities when I first met you. This turned out perfectly, just like I thought. Yep, that was the dev. Self-insert. Ultra Kansai! Kyohei Sada! Original scenario. Ando Onigiri Naohiko. Scenario cooperation. Hatahiko-sama. You're so bright, I can't even breathe. You are so bright, you're so radiant. Could it be your eyes? You are so bright, so radiant. I can barely bear it. You are so bright and so radiant. Could it be your dreams? It's like looking straight at the sun. Even though I close my eyes, I can still see you. Lovey dovey, your smile always brightens my day. And that is why I could not live without you. So please listen when you wait, or give me a call when you want. You are my sweet derpy girl. Before you, every ha even hang up, I'll be there for you. Cause I'm madly in love. Was someone going the credited? I don't know, I was reading the lyrics. Rocky Okamoto. Puri Puri Kun. Uminami. Ooh, thank you for the full version. And here's the translation. Yeah, so I lost my voice. The Majin Zenki. I lost my voice for like a whole two months. Editing and testing by CCC Mar. Uh, back doing karaoke. I was sick. I didn't know I was sick. And I got. Uh, I got sick and I did karaoke. And then I lost my voice for like a month and a half or something. And now I can't hit like any pitches higher than a certain point. It's just gone. Also a cover done by Chibi Tech, which is also good. You should also post those in the, the Discord if you can. You are the derpy girl. Derpy, derpy, derpy girl. She's my derpy girl. She's all of ours. I wonder if they did remake a version too, because like I said, that they did do a light novel in 2015. That's like peak time to 2015 or 2014. It's like peak time to release another album. But I like, I wonder who holds the rights to this. Majin Zeki just did the Game Boy Magic Ray Earth thing. Yep, I saw that. That's it's awesome. More Ray Earth stuff needs to be translated. There's like a weird uh, Dojin Ray Earth game on the Sharp ZX 68K that I want to check out. It's kind of a shmup, I think, and it, it looks really bad. But I kind of want to play it. <laughs> it the, the the shmup part design is bad. The sprites are all cute and. You basically you can swap between the three girls and they have different shots. Mm -mm -mm. I can't make this stop. I have to go walk to my NES. Well, that was fun. So I'm going to hit stop recording here and this will be the end of the YouTube VOD. Um, I got some time so we can mess around on the NES a bit. <laughs>